back again, ain't we? David Turner, With the, the Renegade Computer Game Master. Show. Shut up. D4 Damager, <laughs> power Bell's to the here. people. Hello. Sean yeah. Bell is here. Sorry, I'm excited. I'm just too excited. Matt Murray's here. Hello. James Farley is also here. Yeah. Uh, this week's show uh, is brought to you by our Patreon producers. They went full bloody Nels, didn't they? They went full Nels. It's Alan M. Nash. What does the M stand for? We don't know. It don't stand for, it might stand for Major. <laughs> because he's got full Nels. <laughs> Steve Garrett in the house, uh, full Nels. And Aaron Patrick. Thank you, Aaron Patrick. Full Nels. If you want to go full Nels, go to Patreon, don't you? Matt, that's right. TCGS, is it? That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> How you doing, boys? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Had a good week? Yeah. Well, you, well, you know I've had a good week because we went to a wedding together on Saturday. Yeah, but we only spent two days of those weeks. The rest of the week Yeah, but even if the crap. rest of the week had been a shiter, that, those two days were, were it was all excellent. all leading up so, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played some games, didn't we? We did. Played some games together. Computer games. Played Heath Ho. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. Heath Ho's like a cooperative game and we just spent the whole time just doing our own thing. Soloing it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> We just kind of soloed it. <laughs> Chat bullshit. But uh, yeah, we played some other games, but we'll get to them later. Uh, uh, we should probably get... Sean, what, was David sick at all? No, no he, was, he was pretty well behaved. Did yeah. he start any fights? That? Where's that come from? Just, you know, like wedding, booze and that, you know. It, Matt, you're, forgetting, you're the one that yeah. throws up all the time. Yeah, see, I, I was at a wedding, so I wouldn't have been I... sick. I, I, don't, I don't associate <laughs> David with being sick. I associate Matt with being sick. Because yeah, that's, no, happened, I wasn't there, that's so happened I on numerous occasions when we've done done things. <laughs> <laughs> I just still got that image of him in, in front of Pro Evolution Soccer with his forehead firmly on the floor of his flat <laughs> <laughs> before he went off to rip his uh, shower yeah, it was the, curtain. Was the shower curtain all over the floor and all that. It was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that was a good time. Oh, to be fair, that shower curtain was loose. Weddings are great though, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're just oh, they're so good. good. It's so funny. Like when you're a kid and you get brought to a wedding, you're like, oh my God, this is so long. Oh, no, and you've got to yeah, see yeah, about yeah. No way. Really. They're, they're brilliant. You can basically slide on your knees. You could like kick a balloon up in the air for about seven hours. Mate, and then I, maybe yeah, someone will give you half a hooch. highlight. If that was the highlight of your childhood. It probably wasn't. <laughs> I was like six <laughs> or seven at a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> it was shit house. Um, but, but then when you get older, you're like, Oh my god! A day of just drinking and eating—that just sounds like the best. Sitting I get to around, pop my shirt. probably in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on who's when you're going to, though, doesn't it? Because I've just been to some shocking weddings, and it's never fun. I mean, the only well, the well, best wedding I've been to was yours, Dave, because that was that was genuinely good. But I've been yeah, to lots of others. Yeah, but that was others. because the, the whole wedding was set up for people to get hammered. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was all in a hotel. You didn't have to go anywhere. There was no milling about. There was a massive bar there the moment you walked in. It was just like, by the end of it, man, everyone was wankered. Myself included. Uh, that was, uh, yeah. No, I was proud of that wedding. It wasn't the most fanciest, but my God, did people drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's 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 usually the best bit of weddings. I mean, the fact they're like twelve or fourteen hours long, often it's uh, it's it's, it's a long day. Stuff. But yeah, it is a long day. We we see, we even managed to get a game of FIFA in halfway through the day, <laughs> didn't we, James? Remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, that was we good. talked about that the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Let's get some feedback. Last week's show, the big return. Everyone loved it, did they? Oh God, we had uh, we we had very little feedback. <laughs> we get the news. That's not true. Well, very little. No, that's not mean, true. We, <laughs> we, we, we had we had some tweets saying Great Dave is back. We had one person who wasn't happy, and and, and, and that was about it. it. He, he really <laughs> wasn't happy, was he? Who was this? The guy that I retweeted. Yeah. Yeah. What did he say? Which I can't. I don't know. He's just being horrible. I don't know. It, it's not it's worth like, it. So, uh, yeah. Matt hasn't put any. Has Matt, you, have you not put any of these tweets in the thing? Well, no, because it, it wasn't really. <laughs> There's nothing for really me to you know generate any discussion. People loving you coming back. Uh, and 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 that was it. <laughs> well, was so two weeks they, ago, just upset that there's not just a list week- of people saying you are the best. And like, just, <laughs> so I thought that's what we were doing. I thought that's what we were doing because two weeks ago, Matt read every single positive <laughs> message out, and then turned to, when when he ran out of positive messages from the listeners, he just decided to give them to Sean in a hope that he gets some back, and he got and some he did. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, there's, but, there's loads, and you couldn't move for but them. But now it's about there's me. A lot of love in the room. You know, yeah. That's about me. Ah, let's 
Let's not bother putting them in I the I mean, docker, you were happy last week, so I thought, you know, let's dial it down. Let's just focus, no, focus I know on the that's games. not how your brain works. So, um... I know that's not how your brain works. <laughs> okay, so is that it? We've got no feedback. I mean, let, let, let's, let's scroll down. Uh, yay, Dave's back. That's that's one. Um, okay. See what else it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing else. No, no. And that, that's pretty much it. I mean, um, Peter obviously happy to be happy you're back, but it wasn't not. much else happening in it. So we get cool. straight into news then? Yeah, let's get straight into news. Yeah, if you want to leave us feedback, it's at Computer Game Pod on Twitter or podcast at thecomputergameshow.com. But, you know. I saw a few people moaning that the news intro had gone. Oh, I really like that bit. Why has that stopped? So should I just do one? I've got one. Go on, do it. Go yeah, on. yeah. Yeah, I'd love to hear this. Ready? You know when you have a curry, right? And then it's a bit oh, dodgy and you know going. instantly it ain't going to sit right. <clears throat> so you go to bed and then you wake up with a stomachache, right? And then all of a sudden you sit on the toilet and it just falls out of you. I mean, it just, you barely hit the seat before it just sprays everywhere. And you look back and it's a rotten colour and it, the whiff is insane. So, what I'm saying, James, is right, I'm the toilet. Yeah, the news is shit and you're an arsehole. <laughs> and, you, and you want me to spray you with my arsehole? No, you are the arsehole, James. <laughs> the AS- ESA are proposing rebranding E3 uh, 2020 to make and it... And that's why I'm not doing them. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. So anyway, the ESA are going to be proposing a rebranding of E3 2020. So it's going to become what they're calling a fan media and influencer festival. <laughs> that's that's uh, heaven. Oh, I mean, you, is, I, is it is this because they accidentally doxed all the journalists, so they know they're not yeah. coming back? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 they're not going to want to turn up now. That? There's more. This, oh, I mean, sh- the more shit. you read about this story, the more just horrible it sounds. I mean, in my opinion, I think I think this sounds appalling, but I'm mm. sure other people will <laughs> think it's good. But it's um okay. So <laughs> when you say other people, do anyone I mean, come Matt, to mind there? I mean, Matt thinks <laughs> it's going to be good. I don't know. I think I thought it'd be good. <laughs> so it's, it's, okay, so what they've done is apparently they've already approved an extra ten thousand tickets for the general public, bringing the total up to twenty five thousand, and they're going to okay. split the show floor into eight ex- what they're calling experience hubs, uh. and then the, it gets worse. And then people will be able to come and watch influencers and celebrities play games. Why the fuck would anyone have we, want to have do we that? Had, have we had the call yet? Have they, when are we when are we booked in? I'm I'm still by my phone. Yeah, just, just so you got that, and then it gets this even worse. I mean, you got here. We got an app <laughs> that you use to register a time to play a demo. That's that's not a terrible idea. That's but then actually also, a good idea, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. But no, they've got another innovation here though. Publishers are also going to offer what they're calling queue tainment. Okay. Oh. So this is for people waiting in oh, line. Oh God, I just worked it out. That's <laughs> awful. Yeah. Go on. So this is for people waiting in line. It's I mean it's just about advertising, isn't it? Really? It's just like they've got a captive audience, <laughs> they're just gonna be advertising at you, you know, while you're waiting in line for whatever it is. I mean I mean, don't get me wrong, rather have something to do while standing in a queue than not. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that was the, the good the, thing about the, the this currently happens uh, like things like the, like, the end of a fringe. If you're like queuing up mm-hmm. for, like tickets, there's all like all the other comedians come up to you saying, "Do you want to go to the show? Do you want to come to the yeah. show?" Like this no, is that is yeah. fucking horrific. That's not cute to t- That's awful. Yeah, that's, that's just horrific. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not good at all. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's Sega World was the best for this because if you were queuing up for a ride at Sega World, it was really long. Mm. They just had a string of arcades, so yeah. that were all on free to play, and you would just play a game, and then you'd see that the one next to you was empty. So then you just moved oh, down, and that's like, that how you moved idea. down. The really it was fucking Captain incredible. Yeah, they're not going to yeah. do that. It's, uh... I mean, that's <laughs> partly why they went out of business. I mean, yeah. who gives away that amount of free electricity for a start? But, um, I mean, you know, it was there, good for the there time. There's so many arcade cabinets that couldn't actually fit in the actual arcade. It's like, well, <laughs> yeah. three quarters of the room's actually gone now with the queue. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that with a cooked toilet and everyone just pissed themselves because they're in the middle of a game of Metal Slug. Uh, right. Okay, go on, so there's more. On. Also, there's a suggestion that the first day is still going to be business only, but then this will be used to create buzz. Uh, for the rest of like, so obviously what they're going to do is whoa, they're going to say, whoa. "James, James, yeah. Yeah. not just Buzz." Okay, buzz read that full F- FOMO. FOMO. I didn't yeah. want to say that because it's just <laughs> what Buzz and what FOMO, FOMO, What's fear, that? fear of missing fear out, of missing out. Yeah. Yeah. You must have heard the term FOMO before, Dave. Come on, you're not. No, no I'm not a cunt. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Matt, Matt, okay, Dave, Dave. There's more of this. Okay, so we've also got here. So this is. I'm going to read to you. This is the quotation. So the point is also to 
attract influencers and celebrities who would offer validation, attention and excitement across media outlets beyond the video game space. And so then they also said this strategy can be used to store what they're calling positive chits for future use among consumers, which could essentially be cashed in against the likes of negative video game stories. So they're saying, Thank like, God. It, it, what? Thank purpose. God, it's my what? turn to miss this next year. <laughs> yes! I, I, I can say, I reckon you'll be all right. I mean, but, okay, yeah, I think but I'll there's, be okay, Sean. It's, we're not done because there's more. I mean, there's also going to be, they're going to organise what they're calling paid media partnerships. I mean, that's fair enough. <sighs> and that happens all the yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, going to yeah. happen anyway. With, yeah, with ma- yeah but, okay, we're doing this with major outlets. But then the quotation is that they're going to do this so that people can control content and the message. Like, so obviously, this is. It's a massive yeah, but, propaganda drive as yeah, well. Matt, that's Matt, that's Matt. what people do anyway. Like, the, the, like you know, people, other, like people like the BBC come in and they create their own content. Is that not what you mean? Or like, it's so they can actually dictate to CNBC and people show this, do this, say this. Is that what yeah, you're saying? That's the whole point. Yeah, is so then they can <laughs> Matt, control how what's hard coming are you out. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this sounds sounds dreadful, obviously. But no, I, it I, I, hope it, I hope this isn't going to affect. Hope this isn't going to affect the main show. Uh, well, this is the thing. Like, like is it so? Thing. Obviously, our relationship to E3 is physically somewhat distant. Like, yeah, like, does this mean that there's going to be a change to the way the conferences and stuff work? Because that will upset me. But oh, I can't what see actually that goes on. This is to sell more tickets, isn't it? Yeah, and what actually goes on on the show floor is not really my concern anyway. And like, it, and is this just us being old men? Like, is this the shot in the arm that E3 actually needs? No, and it's sure. just us just it's being not... like, no. Okay. This, well, well, I mean, well, James, you can't answer that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, you don't know. I am yeah, an I mean, old like, man. How much do you think E3 has changed for us over the last three years, considering that three years ago there was no general public and now That's there's 25,000? Mm. Like, it hasn't changed a dot for that me. It's like still getting the influence. I mean, apart from all the <laughs> whooping and hollering, it's still no, the same we were saying We were saying on the show not too long ago on one of our talkovers when we went back and watched an old PlayStation one, Jesus Christ, this is boring. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And we were saying, yeah. and I'm sure there was people, there, there are people out there that are going, why aren't they talking about the graphs? Why aren't they bringing the graphs out again? <laughs> this is the kids taking over. So I think that's a valid point Matt's come up with there, and Sean. No, um, but then but, also there's another way you can do this. I mean, the, I still think the best like way the to do this way... <laughs> Is no, it's through like <laughs> the Nintendo Direct kind of stuff and things like that. Is doing it that way rather, you know, having yeah, events this is, like that. Yeah, yeah, but things. James, that can still happen whilst all these people, you know, have cute attainment. Like, oh. I, actually, I think we'll see more of those pre-recorded things. And that, again, that isn't going to change for us at all. We'll still just watch it on YouTube at the time. And whether twenty-five or thirty-five thousand people go and you know have cute attainment and buzz and future positive chips then like, it doesn't matter i mean <laughs> this is so they, can, so, they, so they can sell extra tickets i mean last year the biggest thing in terms of the public being there is that tons of the you know journalists and people who went there say that like, was incredibly busy you know it was just a bit of a nightmare if like you know just generally around there it's like way, way worse now has been in previous years but you know i mean that, that doesn't affect us we're still gonna see the conferences we're still gonna james james <clears throat> how uh, like how's this affected your fomo has this affected your FOMO? Oh, absolutely, yeah. How, I mean, how, how FOMO are you right I, now? I've got extreme FOMO because I want to see some of these celebrities and influencers playing games. I mean, you can't. I tell you what, like, Sean is absolutely right. Is this us <laughs> being old men? And uh, James, you were the one that stepped up and said, no, it isn't. But, <laughs> I mean, you are literally the oldest, <laughs> grumpiest man of the lot of us. So uh, you really can't this be that confident bullshit, with though. that opinion. I mean, yeah, it sounds fucking horrific. Yeah, the thing, like, I'm not, I'm know, not, like, I'm not offering that as an excuse. Like, I still don't like any of this. But as I say, is that just because we're relatively out of touch with what most Why people they, want? Did they legitimately put that title out there? Was Which, that a direct quote? No, 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 it's, it's, it's a leaked this is a leaked document. Report. Yeah, this is not like uh, an official and one. And it yet. is a proposal. Yeah. But, so maybe it'll go absolutely nowhere. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I mean, I it sounds that... bad. I mean, I, I bet there's like these sorts of documents for everything. I mean, like EGX, I'm sure I say, you know, make sure we've got experience hubs, we've got Nintendo here, and, you know, uh, esports influencers over there. <laughs> like, uh, this this language isn't, isn't I don't think, too uncommon for all these, any sort of event. You know, make sure people are entertained, this, that, and the other. I mean, I just hope it doesn't affect it. The only thing yeah. is that the Wuthering and Hollowing is probably going to get worse. And that was <laughs> easily the worst part of last, year, last year's E3. Um, but maybe fun. these hops will keep <laughs> them away. I don't know. I mean, mm. maybe they try and limit that in some respect. I don't know. But should yeah. we have heard if Sony were there next year or not yet? Yeah. Uh, I, I, know, know, I don't now, think they'll right? bother. 
I, don't, I think they're going to do their own event to like launch whatever PS5 is going to be. I think they will, but I mean, I mean, I mean they the will definitely do that. But uh, I still, will, I still, I think, I think they'll come back. But um, I don't yeah, think they will knows. because we saw like from last time, like from the last one when they Sounds weren't like there, bit. we went through like all the like reports and everything from that, and it didn't really hurt Sony not being there in terms mm. of like media coverage. They still got like. It, it wasn't like majority media coverage, but still, like a lot of media coverage were not even bothering. And it's, you know. It's yeah, just... yeah, but it's a little bit different this year because they're going to be showing off PS5. People want to see it and hold it in their hands. Like, it's, well, they won't this do that year, anyway. it doesn't matter they're not being there because, oh no, people aren't going to see, like, the, you know, the trailer for Last of Us or whatever. Like, or last year, sorry, it didn't really matter. This year, with, you know, you think next gen and, you know, uh, the machine coming out in 2020, PS5, etc. I think next year is, a, a, is way more important for them to yeah. be on the ground. But they don't, they don't give the hands-on center. with the hardware anyway. They never do that, like, for this sort of thing. Like, no, I, but it doesn't, it... it doesn't have to be hands-on. I mean, even, like, even like the PS5 behind a Perspex block. Like, a block to me, it'd be, it'd be something. Like, <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking specifically from our end. Like, are they going to do a presentation? No. Yes or no, Jay? Oh, no. you mean like an on-stage presentation? No. Well, it doesn't have to be on stage, but do something. Yeah, even Not just a stream, stream a video on the or... same week. Would... Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, of course I'm going to do that. Imagine they didn't do that. And James, you say no. I say no, yeah. Well, Hans, yeah, yeah, you so think it's just a bet? <laughs> Have we got a bet on that? <laughs> I, I want clarification. So, Hans, James, you think Sony aren't going to do anything in in like the week or two of E3? I no, they may do something in the week or two of E3, but it will not be connected to E3. Like they they will announce well, again that they are not yeah, going to be they at do, E3. If they do How like their own that? stream in the same week, that's obviously leaning no, 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 on I, the interest. I, I, no, around. I see what ja- no, I see what James is saying here because yeah. if they come out and then do their own stream like three days before E3 officially starts, mm. you know, before the conferences start, then I don't think that does count. But, see, I think it what? does no, because I think have... that's still absolutely like that means E3. Is a that part is an E3 of their strategy for and the sure. Timing okay, and the, well, let's yeah. refine this down then, James. Okay. What are you saying? What are you confident well, about? Well, that's exactly what I was saying. Like, I, I think that they will do something, but it won't. I, I think they will pointedly say that we're not going to be at the e on the E three show floor this year. Um, well, okay. I, well, you, you, well, you've changed the tune then. So, like, you've gone on, yeah. from like oh, there being no presentation to now they're not being on the show floor. No, yeah. I'm saying they're things. not going to do a big conference thing, Matt. It's not going to well, be again, like that's one different those... again. Okay, <laughs> so is it conference? Is it on the show again. floor, the thing, or is it an online thing? Um, Which one is it, James? You know, I hate doing this. I am on. I see where Matt's coming from. You've got you've you've changed from talking about the conference to presence on the show floor. Though those are two separate. No, no. Because you just asked me deals. two separate questions about two <laughs> different. I- like things, what am I supposed to say? Well, okay, right, tell right. us what this you think. Okay, doing this E3. is what I think is going to happen. They will not be on the show floor. They're not going to like be there for that. Okay. They will right. also not do a conference <laughs> either. That's going to be like a conference, you know, like a Microsoft yeah. thing with people whooping and everything. But they will do some sort of direct kind of thing. Is what I think they'll do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you think no one stage press conference, but they will do like when a state of plays yes. in the week. Yeah. Yeah, no, what do you think, Matt? I think that's entirely possible, yeah. <laughs> right, oh, okay, so there's no bet. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> at one point, James is saying they're not going to do anything, they're going to go dark for two weeks, and I, yeah, didn't I, I think it's entirely that. I said possible. They weren't going to be at E3 on the show floor, and they all weren't right, going to do right, a right, conference. Right, really. we're, we're clear sure. on what he meant. Let's move on. Sure. <laughs> this is great. I didn't even need to do much that time. I'm sitting back here going, I'll bank, baby, <laughs> in my head. <laughs> Don't need, need, need to do much. Just drop a little <laughs> bit of, uh, of the turn of magic in the middle of the <laughs> ring. <laughs> right, that's a shame. I was hoping for a bet then. Because, we, you know, we were talking about these bets before and we need to up the stakes a little bit. Mm. I'm thinking Lou's has to post her dick on Twitter. Not again. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and that was a freebie. Okay. All right. Um, next news story now, really, is it? Okay. Uh, well, isn't it? There's going to be a <laughs> Google Play Pass, which is launching, and it's actually yeah. launching today, which is Monday when we're recording Ooh. this, so it'll be out already by now. Um, it's going to cost $5 a month, but with an introductory price of $2 a month for the first year, and it's going to include apps as well as games. And But the, the difference between this and the Apple stuff is that Google are not directly funding what doing. any development a lot of anything, <laughs> and at launch... <laughs> what? It, no, it's funny. Like it's, we're just laughing at the story, not you, Joe. Yeah, okay. Sorry, right, yeah, yeah. okay. Then okay. So then also, oh, you've, you've, I've fucked my train of thought now. Okay. Oh, now we're laughing at you. Okay. <laughs> hey, fuck this train of thought. Sure. So <laughs> anyway, at launch, all the apps and games included in it are going to be stuff that's already available on the Play Store. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> How much is this again? <laughs> 
so also, but then also, what they're going to be doing is the Play Store is going to start showing this small, like, multicolored ticket next to apps that are included in the Play Pass bundle, like to try and show you, like, look at this. You you could have this. You yeah, know, this, this yeah, could be, yeah, could be free. Yeah, that makes or sense. And apparently, two thirds of the apps are on it are going to be games, and they're going to include stuff like Stardew Valley, Monument Valley. Um, what's called Limbo and Risk. I mean, stuff that's been out for a while. But yeah. the big difference here also is that unlike Apple, Google isn't requiring like any sort of stringent privacy standards from the apps. I mean, of course they're not. I mean, Google, they just want, want as much well, data. What does that mean? Well, they, you know, they're not. Okay, so with Apple, the whole thing with the Apple Arcade is that they're not like collecting data about you, like about your usage habits and all that kind oh, of really? stuff. Oh, right, okay. Whereas the Google stuff, obviously they're not bothered about that. It's like, God, please. <laughs> Yeah, collecting because their whole the whole MO, isn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah, it's like please, yeah. please take as many of that. So mm-hmm. the main thing though is that it's the removal of ads. I mean, that's like seen as like a big step forward. But then also the other thing that's interesting is they have said something about how they're gonna pay developers. And apparently it's gonna be via what they're calling engagement with the apps. And although they're not very clear about what this means, whether this means like tracking screen time or anything at all, how many times you opened it or whatever, they they haven't really explained that yet. But yeah, that's how it's going to be. It's going to be through engagement. Whereas, because we, we, we don't know how they're being paid. It's just... That's agree, fucking sort of. shaky, isn't it? I, I mean, that's uh, exactly uh, what <laughs> was rumoured Apple would do. Maybe it's like just like a, a rumoured discussion. But then we were like, you know, okay. this is tight. That's sure you're going to make if developers just try and do whatever they can to keep people in the app. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. So this is US only, isn't it, uh, for the moment? Other Presumably, countries yeah. Are soon. Yeah. No, yeah um, I mean, uh, from definitely, an outside, definitely. I don't know much about any of this stuff. But it does seem like... I, I, I don't know if this is widespread or just my bubble on Twitter, but the um, Apple Arcade seemed to go down very, very well. Everyone yeah. was tweeting about it this weekend. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were really getting back into mobile gaming. It's been a big push, and the vast uh, majority of the comments I've seen is is based around these new games that they that haven't been available before, mm-hmm. um, and how it felt like that time before free to play kicked in yeah, where definitely. there was all these just really nice unique experiences yeah, yeah, yeah. that were fun to play um and it was like the revival of that sort of era mm. whereas this just seems like a cobbled together mess <laughs> of existing titles that they rushed to yeah and it's so frustrating because stadium. it's really i was gonna say yeah it's yeah. so frustrating because it's really reminiscent of what they've done with stadia in that it's fine but there's no there's no identity to it, whereas like Apple Arcade has come straight out of the gate with, as you say, all like loads of really cool, interesting, and in some cases exclusive um, games, and gives you a real sense of what you are getting from it. Whereas this is like, I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, like you know, Mini Metro, Stardew Valley, Old Man's Journey, Reigns, like all really good games, but probably ones you've already bought by now, um, in in many cases. Um and none of them unique to the the platform. Um, so it just doesn't like yeah. All right, five dollars a month. It like for me, it will probably be worth doing, but it's not like because of Apple Arcade. I'm now currently weighing up buying a, a new iPad. Right. Um, yeah. Th- this isn't going to make anyone be like fuck. I need to get a Pixel quick. I can play yeah, Star yeah, Wars yeah. Knights of the Old Republic for five dollars a month like it's yeah it's just not exciting at all is it i mean i'd be interested to see you know what other apps are involved because it, it you know as james said it isn't just games um yeah. but it's just, it's just not exciting is it it's it's fine but it's not it's, it's not going to turn anyone it's interesting though isn't it because it, it's just it is really similar to stadia it's like they don't seem mm. to care at all about content really apart mm. from using it to like push it as like whatever service they're trying to run but like yeah. not this idea that I think the thing that people really liked about Apple Arcade was, like you said, it's like the fact there was a lot of new stuff there that are being mm. like curated and all that kind of stuff. Whereas this is just, yeah, it's like thrown together, yep. which is a shame. And Stadia feels a bit like that as well. It feels like they've got the technology, they've got all that, they're really confident that's all nailed down, but mm-hmm. the content is not there. As in, like, it's just like, oh, we've already got all this stuff, just bung that on there, it's fine. Yeah. It's, uh, yep. yeah. Fair enough. This right. I think that's a bit unfair. I mean, they've got guilt. They've got Destiny 2, so I'm sure. <laughs> Destiny 2. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, this is weird. I mean, yeah, the, the thing, the, fa- the fact it's got apps, and that, that sort of sets it apart from, from yeah. uh, Apple Arcade. But um, but yeah, but no one's like, we'll oh, see. mate, if I get a Pixel, I can get AccuWeather for free. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's just not happening. Well, $5 a month. Well, yeah. You know. um, yeah, okay, fair enough. They're trying. Mm. What's next? Okay, uh, we've got another game launcher 
that has just launched. Ooh. And this is Rockstar Games this time. Um, they've got Oof. their own storefront. So this is the Rockstar Games launcher, and it's free for Windows PC, and they've got seven Rockstar Games on it. So these are GTA 3, 4, 5, LA Noir, Max Payne 3, Bull- and Bully. And it also supports cloud saves, so I guess that's good. And they're also offering GTA San Andreas for free with downloads of the launcher, like right now. But no, that's pretty cool. No mm. Red Dead on here either, which is a bit odd. But also, they've not no, talked no, about. No, they're well, doing that for Red Dead, aren't they? I was going to say, gonna presumably, gonna this is yeah. working up to the PC release of exactly. Red Dead. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah. but there's also the they've best. not explained whether this is going to impact on like um, other PC storefronts, <clears> like whether <throat> right. it's all going to go exclusive to this or not. I, not I would assume it is because I'm guessing the thinking Definitely. is, yeah. If, so if Red Dead Two is coming out on PC. Mm-hmm. Um, Steam's cut of infinity billion dollars um, probably adds up to a fair bit. So yeah, I imagine this is just them making sure. They yeah, keep I mean, I, yeah, I, I mean, I'm have... sorry. When I first started hearing about this, it mm. sounded like they were doing their own like EA access type thing. Is that not the case? No, it's just a launcher right now. They haven't announced any subscriptions or anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, okay. th- th- this is obviously yeah, th- th- they'll get everyone downloading it. Say Red Dead Redemption Two is exclusive to this or exclusive to you know you have to get this to get it on PC. They'll suddenly have you know multiple millions of users suddenly using their games launcher. Yeah. And, uh, and and that's where it goes from here, I guess. So yeah, it makes yeah. total What's sense. the feedback been like? What's the reaction been like? I the assume feedback people like, like oh, another launcher, lol. But, yeah, um, basically that, yeah. It was I, mean, I, don't, I don't want it, but I also absolutely can't blame them for doing it. Like, they're, no, they're big enough and they know they've got a game big enough to to make people... You know, as, as I've always said, like, Steam worked because you, you, know, you needed to have it to play Half-Life 2 and that's how it, that's how it got in. And this, yeah, and Rockstar have got Red Dead Redemption 2 and presumably another Grand Theft Auto in the works so of, yeah, of course suppose, they can get away with doing it so why wouldn't they I suppose the difference is between this and the Epic <clears throat> store is that Epic were going out and buying games to just get exclusive on their store whereas mm. Rockstar just putting their own games on their store so exactly yeah, yeah. it seems like, less... no one's going to be kicking off saying they're, I can't believe indie, this mate. they're going indie <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah going out the little man um, <laughs> I, I note that I, I think that's absolutely fine I I mean, I'm not, it's, I'm not PC it's irritating. Anyway, there you go. Um, I can't. I mean, I, I wouldn't play Rockstar stuff on PC anyway. I don't think. Um, Have they but, got a good rep? Uh, what for the PC versions of stuff? Yeah. Well, the um, GTA Four was was always really interesting because there was a really active scene on. Um, it was a mod scene. Yeah, yeah. Like I think that's the case and, for all GTAs actually. I know, like all like, right, the real yeah. real life graphics packs for the latest yeah. one look absolutely stunning. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like people um, are role playing in their servers and whatnot. I mean, that's what happens on consoles as well, to be fair. But yeah, so I mean, those, they're not really. Um, I, some people will be like, I can't believe another launcher, but most people will be like, yeah, totally get it. They don't want to lose thirty percent to Steam. Mm. Tens of you know, tens and uh, tens of millions of people go download it for Red Dead Redemption Two. Uh, yep. It makes sense. It's just. Yeah, I guess that everyone's like, um, it's good with like apps now, isn't it? Whereby rather than just here are my installed games, it's here's all my stored installed launchers, mm. and then they link to games as well. So, but pretty soon people are going to be used to having loads of these. It was a bit different when everyone had Steam. It's like, well, hang on, I'm going to have to install UPlay, UPlay or whatever it is. But now it's like, people, I think people are already getting used to the fact they got Steam, Epic Game Store, UPlay, you know, this. There's probably others I've missed do, out. Do you know Discord what I've... as well. Do you know what I would really want if this is the way things are going for the PC? I would like all the storefronts to have an option to load up when I turn my PC on, check for patches, and then fuck off. Because what's getting really yeah. irritating now is on, you know, so like the Epic Store, I don't use it enough, or, you know, the games I've got on it, I don't use it enough for it to, to you know, load up when I start Windows up, right? Because I'd just, I'd be closing it all the time um, to say, you know, save, save a bit of RAM. Do you know what I mean? Um but then it means that inevitably, whenever I do want to play something on it, the launcher itself needs to do an update, and then the game I'm trying to play probably needs an update as well because I haven't loaded it up for two weeks. So it's like, yeah, you, you get that on consoles sometimes yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, you know, the P- the PS4 for me has been horrific at oh, just it's updating really bad games today, in the background. You basically have to open the game for the for the update to really like kick in or to say it's happening. Mm. Where, where's yeah. Xbox? I don't, you know, you turn it on and generally it says here are the updates and stuff. Yeah. Or I still have issues with that because yeah, it feels yeah. like I have to go to manually and uh, yeah, select each, to each online, update to download. To to mm. yeah. yeah, there are some games as well. Well, I mean, mine does it automatically, or at least it. It feels like mine sure does, it does it if it I don't turn the machine on. But if I turn the machine on, then I get loads of updates <laughs> in the updates tab. What? I don't have to manually. Well, no, because it's on standby. So 
if I've if I'm turning the machine on, then it has downloaded updates when it's been in standby mode. Yeah, yeah. But when I turn the machine yeah, on yeah. and go to updates, if I then I have to manually click on each each limb to download it. But, oh, really? Uh, well, where's on PlayStation? It, well, I have I, to well, open the games. What I hate is when it goes, ah, do you want to do this without an update? Do you want to play this without an update? And you go, actually, yeah, I'm not going to be playing it online. I'll just do that. And then you launch the game and the game goes, nah, <laughs> nah, update. You need an update. What? <laughs> you just got to update. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, okay, cool. Okay, uh, a French court has ruled that Steam users have the right to resell their games. Mm. Which is mm, interesting. This is curious. So, this is a consumer group contested the legality of these clauses that are in, within Steam's uh, subscriber <coughs> agreement under European law, and the judges agreed. And so they used this 2012 European court yeah, ruling, but... which said that a transaction for digital goods still implies the transfer of the right of ownership. So mm-hmm. Valve have tried Not to that. get around this before by trying to turn the transaction as being a subscription to a product rather than the purchase of a license. So then they can say, well, yeah, when you hmm. buy something, you're actually just buying a subscription. You're not buying a license anyway. The judge says, no, that's, that's bullshit. I mean, they did, that's not so exactly you're not, you're not buying anything. Oh, yeah, you're renting it. What do you think, James? What do you mean? Is that bullshit? I think it's, well, I think it's bullshit, yeah. You're definitely, I mean, in, it depends. If you're buying, <laughs> if you're buying like software, you're still generally buying a license unless it is a stated subscription service. Yeah. But have you got the right to sell that license? Well, according to European court, you have, because it's a product. Because, well... Well, when you say European court, do you just mean this court? Yeah, well, yeah, the French that they're court. They're reporting on. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, I don't know. It's it's it's, know. it's fascinating I, I, I'm because obviously, on this a little yeah, bit. because we're now in this you know post physical world where the the physical thing and the right to use the thing are separate and one can operate without the other. Um, well, there's and that, it's... and the fact that do you remember when you were a kid and like you, you would talk about that stuff? Oh, you know, you know. When you came round and watched a DVD, you're not actually supposed to do that. Yeah, it's kind of like public, uh, public and all that sort of this. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no, you could get done for that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, don't turn your radio up too loud. That's broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like all yeah. that sort of nonsense. Yeah, yeah. But the fact that now that they can enforce that with digital sales, yeah. that kind of actually, it's kind of like, well, this stuff's always been about. It's just now that they've got a way of limiting you giving that game to someone else. Mm. Um, so it's strange, isn't it? I mean, I mean, I have you got the right well, to... Well, no, because it's, it's all about... it's Because it's connected to this 2012 European court ruling, which is this idea that digital goods, they're still, they're still goods, and they're still yeah. ownership when you buy something. So mm-hmm. if you own something, then you should have the right to be able to resell it if you want to, because it's yours. You, own, and, you bought and it. They're not saying that you own the game. They're saying that you own... The license, so yeah. you should be, be able, able to, sell, to sell that license. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's a, a tricky one, but remember, the Xbox One originally wanted to do all this sort of <laughs> shit, and we all shunned it, didn't we? Yeah. I, I mean, there's more we all shunned as it. well because they've also yeah. they also ruled that Valve are not allowed to keep the contents of a Steam wallet if users leave the platform. Because apparently, okay. at the moment, if you've got a Steam wallet with loads of cash in it or whatever, and you just decide to close your account. Uh, Valve get all the cash, and nice. so they're saying, well, where, "Oh yeah, you're supposed to return it, aren't yeah. you?" Yeah, think that so, seems a bit you? fucking. They're saying off. you can't do that anymore. They've got to give the money back to the user. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. That. Yeah, I'm with that one. And, and, um, oh, go on, sorry. There's more. I mean, they also said that Valve have got to take responsibility with software that's used on Steam if it harms users, and even if stuff's in beta. So, like, if you download okay. stuff from Steam and it like wrecks your computer. Okay. They'll have to take some responsibility for that. I mean, Aliens, Colonial Marines affected a lot of people. They should probably get banged up for that, shouldn't they? <laughs> it's like, well, that, 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 that Has really... there been many reports of that happening? <clears throat> like games just bricking people's computers? Not that I've heard of. But... Mm. I mean, the thing with the PC is you, you can, just you can always recover it. This judge was it, just like, on a complete roll, and he was like, and another thing! <laughs> <laughs> well, also, I mean, yeah. do, you want, do you want to hear what the, what the punishment is? I mean, it says, I mean, if Death. if Valve doesn't abide by the ruling, then they're going to have to pay €3,000 a day for up to six months. I mean, for Valve, okay. I'm sure that's just, like, they don't care. Your, that's probably right. Yeah, yeah. Let's pay that. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, okay. This judge fucked up a shizzle. If you don't if you do not do it, you've got to release Half-Life 3. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> in whatever yeah. state it's going to be in. Yeah, but yeah, Valve, yeah. Valve are appealing, though, the whole thing. So they're, I bet they are. To... Yeah, I'm sure they are. Yeah. There is no Half-Life um, 3. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I think, oh, ultimately, you know, in the next few years, it will get to a point where we are able to sell our digital content. Yeah. I, I think it will inevitably happen. The next three years? No, no, in the next few years. I just think it will oh, right. It will happen. Um, 
right now is like you know people pushing back and we're not quite sure whether that's a good thing or bad thing because it's still pretty new to have these digital libraries but i think i think it will happen i think ultimately it's going to happen and people will find Mm. a way of getting maybe another another bit of the pot i mean i guess um valve in this case maybe saying well hang on like so you're you know we've sold you this uh, and you've given us some money but then you selling it again gets you money it's gonna be like when you uh when you sell something to cex I, I yeah it'll probably happen in the mm. future whereby if i went to sell a digital copy of um half-life 2 to sean then mm. the original the pool i bought it from will get like a 10 percent back or something yeah i guarantee it'll be something like that so at least uh, they get yeah, something yeah, yeah i mean like, i'm happy that. like you know if i can load up my steam library and just go through 90% of it just going like, yeah, fuck it, stick that up for a fiver, don't care. If oh, yeah, Val- definitely. If Val- if Valve want to take a cut from that, I'm all right with that because they're facilitating the sale and they're making it piss easy for me, so they could, fine. Could, they could also so, just, like, keep those funds in the Steam wallet, so therefore you're going yeah, so you to have to spend them on Steam, Steam eventually again. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, but people. there's okay. two things here, isn't mm-hmm. there? There's two things. Uh, devs ain't going to want this. No, probably not. Um, and doesn't it leave you more vulnerable to hacking? Like, if it's Does easy it... to go through your library and sell your stuff, uh, all you do is change the account to, like, the um, account details to your own, hack someone's account, whack, whack their full library up on some for a penny. retail. I mean, yeah, for <laughs> fuck all. Yeah. And then just take the cash. Like, mm. it, There'll be vulnerability issues, definitely. There are going to be changes of this, though, because I mean, there's always there's been rumblings recently about whether like like platform holders are should be allowed to just have monopolies on stores as well. Like, I mean, we're getting <coughs> like with PC, you've got all these new ones that have appeared. That's probably going to happen on consoles as well, isn't it? At some point in the near future, because there's already this talk about like you know it's anti-competitive and like mm. the apps, like the Apple, like you know the iOS app store, it shouldn't be the only one that's allowed, and you know not on Xbox. It's but surely, the same. The, surely the argument against that is, but there are multiple devices. You don't have to buy an Apple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, tablet, it's not a monopoly at all. An and not only that, they sell codes at various different retailers. Yeah, but the so... the argument is is that like for example, like if you look at Apple, they have like a monopoly over how like stuff is delivered to you on that on that device that you've bought and mm. so that's maybe not fair i'm not saying i agree with that but that's that's what they're saying that's what people say and it's the same with like yeah. with xbox as well they're saying like it should should it be like if you look at like pc right. like you said you, you've got all those different stores why is it on xbox you can only buy stuff through the microsoft store right yeah so the yeah so they're saying yeah so you have bought a device like yeah. it shouldn't be limited by the software on it you should be able to put whatever you want on it technically rather than yeah. you know. ah, I don't I don't know <clears throat> like I mean it's one of those then right? you could I under, say I, I should the be argument, able to install like... Windows on my PlayStation no, yeah I know and I, I well, understand yeah, the argument I'm not saying I want to put you know I never put Linux on my PS3 despite having the option to do so um, I, I don't think I'm interested but I can see the the argument for it it's... you're saying i've bought all this hardware and just because it's been put together by this company i'm limited limited to what i can do with it yeah yeah that's and it should like, be you know the... if i understand okay. like okay so if i buy an xbox and i mod it or i put my own operating system on it i accept i'm not gonna be able to use xbox live i'm not set, like I, that's fine like if i'm pulling out of that ecosystem entirely i'm not like saying like well i should be able to do xbox live with it and whatever i want on the side like I understand there there will be consequences and I and I can you know I wouldn't necessarily be able to access their network or facilities or whatever, but I can see why people would be like, well, look, I've bought a box that is capable of of things depending on what code you put in it, but you're just not letting me put the code on it that I want. To. You know, I, I can but see it's, it's where also, it comes from, but it's also like the platform holder like <laughs> monopolizing like how stuff is distributed as well. Yeah. That's the yeah. other thing, and the fact that they're they're taking a cut from that. And yeah. there's no competition. Like they can just yeah. choose whatever they want for that, and it will is how it is. I mean, that's why people okay. are not happy about like the way that like app stores work, like on mobile, like the thirty seventy split and all that kind of thing. Yeah. But there's nothing you but can no do choice. about that because yeah. that's yeah. 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 what it needs, I guess, is someone new to come in and maybe offer like a different like rate, so not seventy thirty. Maybe Stadia's shit. I thought that Epic Games store. Sneak that in. Epic Games. 
We need something to oh, mix fuck. it up, eh, hey, guys? Oh, no, wait, no one likes that. Um, um, last thing on uh, this before we move on. Uh, I know I've mentioned this before. Uh, you know, I've said before, Chris Bratt did a really good video when he was back at Eurogamer about um, what happens to your Steam account Jesus, when you die. Every and, and I fucking, no. fucking love him. Um, <laughs> it, um, and yeah, it's basically the short answer is like there is legally, there is no, or technically, there is no facility. Like if you die, you can't leave your Steam account to someone else. Like obviously, in reality, you can just give someone your naming password. But th- technically, if Valve found out that you were using someone else's Steam account, they could just close it. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if this ruling has any sort of impact on, impact on that stuff as well, because that's going to need looking at at some point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this kind of stuff will become less Sporting? important, presumably, once if like once things are like all streaming and all subscription or whatever, it won't matter so much, will it? True. Yeah. People won't. We won't own anything anyway. Yeah. So cause maybe. Yeah. Maybe on. this will just be a, another thing that pushes everyone towards subscription models rather than actually. Yeah, I'm going to sell my subscription. That's right. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Act, add a couple of quid on it every month, right? <laughs> and then sell my subscription. They could carry on paying, and I'll pocket the two quid every month. <laughs> Sorted. No income tax. No creating. <laughs> Black or what? Right, okay, cool. Isn't Next. it mad that when PS we're still talking about this? Well, yeah, but, cool. but isn't it mad when PS3 first came out, that you could put Linux on it? Did, mm. did not the, the launch ones come with that, or was that like something? Like I don't think it came with it, but yeah, you I don't could. Think they allowed it. No, they, they? They, yeah, did. they did initially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they? Yeah. It's insane that that happened, really. Yeah, I don't. I don't think many people. That was bothered. for tax reasons, anyway. That's why. Oh, was it? Oh, was it? Yeah, <laughs> it was entirely for tax reasons. It was so that they could okay. say that this it's was a computer. a computer. <laughs> yeah, rather than it being uh, a video game console. Oh, brilliant, James Farley. And then wasn't it like? It's not conspiracy. It's just straight up. What happened, Dave? It's yeah, okay. But I presume they tax reasons, baby. I presume it allowed people to hack it, right? I assume that's probably why they got rid of that and the fact that hardly anyone used it. I'm actually using it to do this very podcast. I'm actually using it to record this very podcast right now. Yeah, true. My podcast right, machine. Let's go. Okay, this is the last story. Do you want do you want an anthem update? Always. No. Oh, James, that's always. always. This is brilliant because you sent the news to us all this morning and I didn't see an anthem update. Yeah, there, there. it was there. So, it was there. Yeah, it was there. Was yeah. there? But he does like to have a little, 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 little fist. I was like, yeah, come on. Slip, slip it I in. I hope the, the anthem update is, I'm really enjoying it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, yeah. great. That's what I want to hear about. Yeah, I've not, I've not gone back to it. I, uh, but, I'm a freelancer okay. now, guys. I live the freelancer life. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Chad Robertson, who's Bioware's head of live services, has said that there's oh, yeah. been an increase in player engagement after the Cataclysm update. Okay, mm-hmm. and since However, James Farley down, three it. people are playing it now. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent increase. <laughs> he has said though that it's clear that the game needs long-term support and a lot of fixes, and so consequently, the sounds like sounds like EA is gonna. Definitely provide no, that. Sure. I'm sure they're going to get that's, that. That's there. So what they've yeah. done now is they've killed off what they call the acts structure. So this was going to be this is their I hate something. This is their roadmap. You know that they had mm-hmm. for like the new content that was what coming it out. Needs is long term support. So we've got rid of the roadmap. Yeah. <laughs> we've got and we're just going to fix some stuff. Support. Yeah. No. Yeah, so, so instead, they're promising see, what they're calling seasonal updates. I mean, I don't know yeah. what seasons, but that's what they're saying. But there's there's no detail whatsoever about what these updates are going to entail. I mean, I reckon that they're just waiting to oh see my. how this does on EA Access, and then it's just going to be quietly sidelined. After I mean, a while, if, so if they if what they're saying is like, look, we're going to stop adding stuff, and we're just going to make it fucking work first. Good. That's. What yeah, they that's probably what, that's should what do. Too late. Yeah. It's too late, late for that. It's too that's late. What, that's, what, that's what both the players want. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's, it is too late. Matt trying to join in now. <laughs> oh, no, I've always hated it, guys. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's Bioware. They've created some of my favourite games. Yeah, but how long ago was I'm that? I'm absolutely gutted yeah, a lot this of people happened. Have left now. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. I, I'm absolutely gutted that this has happened. Yeah, same. But here we are, and it's... It's almost imp- impossible for them to make statements like this now mm. without it just seeming like a total joke. Um, I, it's such a shame that, and you know, and there is that thing that you, you kind of want them to come out and say, "Do you know what? It's fucked. <laughs> now it's done. We're moving on. Yeah. We're trying to better ourselves and work on." But they can't do that because people bought it. Yeah. And, and no, it's yeah, like that's whatever they do next, no one will believe right. them because it's like, well, 
anthem looked good and then it wasn't and you just sacked it off so that's the horrific thing isn't it whatever they're working on now uh whatever they announce and show off is going to be scrutinized to the yeah because it's, it's dragon age next isn't it so that's no no they should just scrap that anthem 2 full steam ahead <laughs> double down Straight in there See, is that the subtitle to it? <laughs> Anthem 2, full steam ahead. <laughs> Choo-choo. Yeah, now you can have five freelancers. Uh, um, followed it's... by their first content update, cancelled roadmap. Yeah. <laughs> Called Seasons. Coming soon. Um, yeah, it's a shame, but I, 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 I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I can't. It was shit, man. I, I tried to play it. Uh, oh, no, no, I, it looked, I, it looked, it looked it. terrible. It's not, not, not my sort of thing at have all. Have you tried to play it since it's. Oh, you haven't got EA access anymore, have you? No, that's okay. the problem. Oh, fine. Uh, I haven't played it since. Well, I think launch week, actually. Um, so it's a bit harsh for me to say it's shit. Um, the thing is, but the, uh, like, I know what you're I, saying. I only but, played it for a few hours. All we heard was... in the months afterwards was that people were just finding more stuff that was wrong with it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was mostly because yeah. it just had tons of technical problems, didn't it? Like when yeah, it launched, and like, yeah. like when it when it turned out that the better loot was actually worse. Yeah, <laughs> I was just yeah, like, this know. is so fundamentally fucked. Like, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you could. T- I mean. It, I remember playing that beta and going, okay, hopefully we don't have to keep coming to this hub area and walking really slowly with really low frame rate mm-hmm. uh, through here every single time. Yeah. And then when I was playing it, I was like, yeah, we do. Yeah. This is what we're doing now. Yeah. Oh, look, we've finished this mission. Let's all disband into our own little servers and then have to invite <laughs> each other again when we're ready to start the next one. It's like, oh, I want to change weapon. What's that? Quit to main menu. To change weapon, <laughs> no, like it's like oh, the fuck, man. Like, like it was, it it did everything wrong in that first week. It was, um, yeah, absolutely gutting. Yeah. But there you go. Hopefully, we don't bring this up again because we keep repeating ourselves. I hope this is the last time Anthem gets mentioned on this oh, show. Oh, definitely, Until yeah. the comeback, <laughs> and then we're all playing it, and it's fucking brilliant. Oh, I it's love on, that. It's on the game of the year show. Who would game. love a redemption arc right now in this game? Who? I mean, like, yeah, I, it's I, true. I think about there's nothing, there'd be nothing better. I think about No Man's Sky, and it's like, God, that got ripped apart, and like, it's awesome, like how yeah. they've turned it around. Uh, how good are we? If oh, it this is, is, it's good. It's of course that's good. Yeah. If this did it, it would be nah. it would be amazing. And yeah, I love I love drama. I love a narrative. I love the underdog. If this came back, it'd be unbelievable. It's yeah. never going to happen. But imagine <laughs> if it did. Imagine if... I don't know what it happens. Imagine, imagine, I'm just incredible. imagining we do the Game of the Year show and it's like, it's not even worth talking about it, is it? It's just all four of us. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Just... The answer is... What's nuts is go back five years and Matt Murray describing a Bioware game published by EA as the underdog. <laughs> it's like... It, it's mental, isn't it? <laughs> it is where insane, we are with this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, right. Any more news? No, that's it. That's a lot. Right. Um, before we get into what we've been playing, we've... Uh, no. One of us has bought a Switch Lite. <gasps> Oh, yeah. Um, Is it me? James Farley. Uh, I did. No, it's not, yeah. it's not you, Sean. You got your crummy big fat <laughs> um, one with one. admittedly better graphics. <laughs> what's it got better? Graphics. Just the screen and that. I was going to say better, better graphics, graphics on your one, Sean. Well, it has got better graphics in it when you plug it into the thing. What did we say, James? 25%? He's lost it. I can't remember oh, I that. Remember. That's, that's an old anyway, joke. Uh, James, <laughs> Switch Lite. Let's James, get what's it. the Switch Lite like? The Switch Lite is really nice. It's a. I mean, I'm a bit concerned because I've been reading today that it uses the. It has the same sticks as the uh, other Joy Cons do. Yeah. So that's a bit of a worry that. because apparently some that people is, are already yeah. getting drift, which is. You're kidding no, me no. already. There was a story. That's people just putting dust down there and it? <laughs> to test it. I mean. Blatantly. That's not so bad because I, 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 if you use contact cleaner, that seems to fix it. Like I've done yeah. that on two sets now, and they've been absolutely fine since I'm doing it. So I, I just figure if I can just keep squirting that down there, then whenever oh, yeah, it happens, that's great. Now, that's what you want from you bought a new two hundred pound device. So I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. James, happy Pull, to do that. Bit of WD forty. Yeah. 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 Not really good enough. James, okay. In a way, it's not ideal. Let's, before we before we get into that stuff, right? Okay, so let, let me tell you. So, firstly, what color did you get? Uh, the yellow one. Now I've heard mixed reports. What do you think of the colour? I think it looks amazing. I mean, it's it's not for me. I mean, it's for it's for my son. And he, I was about to say, where does it sit in your family? Yeah, whatever, it's, I mean, he's, it's son, he's yeah. the one using it. And he, I mean, he he was because I said to him, what colour you know do you like? And he went for that one because he thought it looked like the Mario question block, and he liked that. So uh, yeah, that, that, is, that. that is some strange there, logic, isn't it? That's. <laughs> I mean, are there any um, advantages to owning this thing over a standard Switch? 
Yeah, I mean it's it's smaller and definitely feels more portable. Like in terms of, I'd I'd feel much more comfortable using this in public, um, because it feels a lot less bulky. What a bright yellow no, no, switch. Well, okay. Maybe okay. maybe not Fuck the bright off, yellow. <laughs> Got it, Matt. What was that for? Yeah, what's what? <laughs> what's what the problem with that? I was just saying that there's no way you'll be happy to you know get get your yellow switch out in public. I just can't yeah, see it happening. Not not a yellow switch, but a switch light would be fine. It's like I'm obviously if I was going to do well, this what myself. What do they come in? Uh, well, there's grey, uh, turquoise, or yellow, and also there's like some Pokemon one as well, which is like grey and like blue and red and stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So, so the grey one is the more sort of that's the, the neutral one. Socially, in it. Yeah. The grey one, I'm not. It should be fine, but like, I don't like the white buttons. I don't, I don't know. I think like the, the grey and white buttons does, don't really work for me. Okay. Well, either way, it this. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. <laughs> Your Either way, it, this, this would be that. much more comfortable to get out because it, it feels more like a Vita, but like a more comfortable Vita like okay. to, be, to like hold. And it has the D pad is really really nice. It's it's really nice to have like a proper D pad on a machine, mm-hmm. and it's it's also significantly lighter as well than the um of course, than the, yeah, the machine. Proper D pad because there's no necessity for it to act on its own as a little controller. So of course, yeah, yeah. of course it's got a D. So I somehow not even noticed that in all the publicity and all the pictures. It, it, it. Is it a good D pad? Is it a really yes. solid one? No, no, okay. it feels very nice to use. I mean, all the buttons feel like really nice. I mean, it's it, it's funny because actually, like using this has made me start to feel actually they didn't really need to bother probably with the joy cons and they could have just had a machine that was this that you plugged into a dock and then used a pro nah. controller you know no, i disagree stuff. i disagree why i th- i think it's great that those got the- they've got those joy uh joy cons and you could just slide them off and turn them sideways and play little games with you see I, I i mean i see kids do it all the time yeah so i was gonna say like with, I, i've barely done it but then the i've got no mates so yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah no i i've done it a lot in this house because yeah. Uh, we've got the pro controller, mm-hmm. but we, we like to play free player games with me, my wife, and my son. Mm-hmm. So that's just a really easy way to do that every now and then. It's I really like that concept. <laughs> so I'd be gutted if they didn't, yeah. you know, have that. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. I think it is a good. I think it's a positive. But what? But it just feels. I'm trying to say right. What What I'm asking is, what sort of situations where you would you recommend buying this over the Switch? Because I I, I see. The normal Switch has, like, having it as a secondary uh, console, I think, yeah, I fully understand. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, we were in a house, this when we were at this wedding this weekend, the fact that we both had our Switches with a single dock and we could just switch them out and mm-hmm. put whatever games that we owned on the telly like that, I think is a massive plus. But had one of us had a light, that wouldn't be possible, yeah. and I think that's quite a negative towards that game. I think so, but then I think this is not really targeted at us that are going to do things like that. I mean, this this yeah. is really no, I agree. Yeah. This is really clearly for people that have owned like for like the 3ds market and for you know for like kids because yeah. it's yeah, totally. it's cheaper. I mean, it's it's quite a bit cheaper than the the other one. I mean, if you were only wanting to play in handheld and had zero interest in playing on TV, definitely I would I'd get this over the over the regular Switch because it feels. Also, because the fact the Joy-Con it doesn't have Joy Cons, it feels significantly more solid as well. Like to hold, it doesn't yeah. feel like I've always felt that the Switch feels a little bit flimsy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like when absolutely, you're absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah totally. totally yeah. This it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels very solid, mm. and like it just it feels so nice to touch because it's got like it's like textured like uh, you know plastic or whatever. It feels really good. Have they improved the game? Uh, the, the way you put in a game? No, that's exactly the same, which is horrible, oh and I hate that. God, especially that fucking. Wait, what's wrong with that? I've never. I'm not arguing. It just I feels like it's going to break off anymore. at some point. It's yeah, going to break. It doesn't close anymore. <laughs> okay. It's no. It's non-mechanical, is it? Yeah. It's just a bit of rubber that sticks at like like two little bits of plastic that constantly bends when you lift that little yeah. flap up. And when you've got like a kid um, doing it, I'm just thinking it's uh, not going to last yeah. long. This. Um, yeah, yeah he's enough. broken the plastic that keeps it in place, basically. <laughs> uh, so uh, mine just hangs out the top now. It's that is. it's just all it's just really not elegant yeah, and yeah, just yeah, yeah shitty bit of design. I put the, I've been so, I've been so put in so little amount of physical games that mine mine's still in working condition. Well, although, yeah, because um, that was yeah, I've just not had to do it that much, so it's never really occurred to yeah. me that it could be a problem. But yeah, see, so we the, the we always buy not to buy digital because yeah, yeah. I mean yeah, now I don't regret that because I can switch like we can we can play the games between us now. Like I've not of had course, to buy, yeah, rebuy yeah, anything, yeah. which is brilliant i've heard a lot of uh stories about how fiddly it is to get the systems to work together oh, so okay. that someone's not missing out like because 
isn't it that you, you if you've got primary i heard this on the beast cast this week so uh if you're wondering why i know this um if you've got the primary account then you could play anything you want but then if you make the other one your secondary account then something like you can't play the all the games that you've bought or some shit it's, i don't okay. know it's like a... so when i did it it was relatively straightforward because all i did was i just transferred like his account directly off the original switch onto the new one and made that his primary one for his account so it was fine um, and right. because we've mostly but then ha- has he got access to all of your no, games he's only got access to like the cartridge stuff not uh, not any of the download stuff. Yeah. Now, yes, I think so all the issue is, comes that... from when you want to basically yeah. have both people sharing the same library, now, and then yeah. I could it put my account on his one as well, which has got all the download stuff attached to it, and it will work whereby you can then download stuff <clears throat> like from my account onto his Switch, but only I only my like account would be able to play those games. Like I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would have to then. This is what uh, Dan was saying on the Beastcast that he was in that exact situation. And the way around the way he got around it was that he had to create a second <laughs> personal account. Um, so he had his primary account and a secondary account. He put the primary on the home one that his uh, his child was using, and made that the sort of primary account for that system. And then just used his secondary account on his line. Mm-hmm. Because that way, then the people at home could just use any game they want, and he could use any game he wanted when he was when he was away. Yeah. Uh, because he, you know you were logging in with a different account or whatever. It just sounds way it too. Is hard say, it sounds really intuitive. For, this it I sounds mean, really good. <laughs> yeah, it's just nonsense. See, also, isn't it? you need to have like I mean, you pretty much need to have like the family subscription as well for Nintendo Online, so that like stuff right. like yeah, on course, so yeah. all like the multiplayer stuff works and everything. And your cloud so, and the and, cloud yeah, saving yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, but then once you've done, I mean, what I did, so I installed him as like his primary one on his new one and then I but then I also then copied his stuff back over to the to the original switch as like that being like the secondary one so he could still play on that with his account and like save right. save games and all that kind of thing yeah but um I mean fortunately the only game that he wanted to play that's like a download game that he couldn't was Minecraft and everything else is like he's not bothered because it's all like cartridge Game games Minecraft. anyway so what you just like busy jumping into his saves and fucking up his town and stuff yeah pretty much yeah it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, so what is the, the what's the um the best thing about it like what's the thing that surprised you the most about this system as i said just the how solid it feels it just it and just also like i mean this sounds horrible how light it is it just compared with the original switch it feels it feels much more like a sort of like a like a handheld console than i mean this you need to get down to gym lady ain't that no, heavy? it's not heavy what? it's just like you know it just feels a bit like chunky doesn't it and what's the um no, what's right. like the lack of hd rumble uh like because it Okay, so it's, so it does have rumble still. It's just it's not the no, HD no. version. No, it's it's not, there's no rumble. It's not no. got rumble at all. Okay, rumble, oh, you okay. didn't know. It's okay. I don't think I'd give a shit personally. Nor would I. But I wonder how they get around that and stuff like Mario. Well, what apparently, you have which to is shake, obviously a flagship. You shake that. You shake the screen or whatever <coughs> or something, and then it it does it. Because I was, I, you know, there's those bits where what? like the, where. Oh, the, hang on, you're talking rumbles. about motion control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 yeah, well, apparently right, right. it does. There's like some on-screen notification now, which then you're supposed to like then tilt the screen or whatever, and it like activates. It, it. just okay. goes see R- rumble, yes, yeah, rumble, rumble, <laughs> rumble, <Yeah>. okay, rumble, <laughs> rumble. <laughs> yeah, subtitles, yes. machine rumbles. A <laughs> light rumbling is happening. But you go, you play one, two switch on it. It just goes, yeah, there are four <laughs> balls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it feels like more bear. <laughs> sounds oh. like. Is it two? Is it three? Is it... <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> You'll have to guess. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Yeah, so I mean, also the battery life's really good, like compared with the yeah. original. That that seems to last a long time. And I'm yeah, but where's it compare with, like, say, uh, a Vita? Uh, I wouldn't say it's as good as the Vita. The Vita had really good battery life. The Vita was fucking so insane. Still, like, I don't know what that thing ran. Yeah, off. That, that console was an amazing console. Like, and it's just Power a shame an that entire they didn't town with one of those things. Just so, so neat with them. How's it compare with like a Barco Battler? Yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I wouldn't say it's quite as good because you can't like just load in anything. You didn't need to continue. Yeah, yeah. Can't, um, can't get a game yeah, with a tin of beans, can you? It's just, yeah. What's the point? Yeah. What's the point? Yeah. Yeah. You can with a bar go battle. Yeah. Yeah. It's got some numbers on the screen. What crazy monster is this going to be? Okay, so it sounds all pretty positive, yeah. but all a bit like it's just 
the Switch it's again. It's just the Switch but, one. It's the same as the 2DS, isn't it? It's for a specific purpose. It's not necessarily for us. Yeah. Um, f- fine. Like, I'm sure it'll do absolutely... You know, yeah, I'm sure it'll do really well. Um, I mean, the, yeah, the I mean, parental your, controls your, your switch breaks, is still brilliant. Sure, I still love that. Your switch breaks. You ain't buying a light, are you? You're going straight. For yeah, because I do. Again. I do like using it on the telly, especially but with then, the increased battery. Yeah, um, on the new one. But in you know a couple of years, if Isaac's mithering me for one, like obviously he's getting the light rather than exactly, a full yeah. one. Because what's the point? Um, I mean, See, I mean, I don't before think that, Harry be- before would... that, he's probably having my old 3DS. But you know, that's <laughs> it's cool. I mean, Asher was yeah, so I... happy. Like he was just like, you know, he's like, I've got my own Switch. You know, he's like, you know, yeah. the, and it's like now he can just use that. And the parental controls app is still brilliant as well. Like mm. I can, I've got that locked down now for everything. It's funny. <laughs> I was like, I was like at work today. And then I got like a notification saying the pin has been in- inputted incorrectly, and yeah. it's just like it's because I know he's been trying to play it when he's not supposed to. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> <Tell him away. laughs> the pin has been inputted correctly. What? <laughs> this the thing with what what's really interesting about the Switch is that like it's the first Nintendo console where I'm like, oh no, I wouldn't want my kid even looking at the eShop because there's stuff on there mm-hmm. that's just like with no particular warning, like that's really violent or scary or. There's, you know, barely concealed tits in it or whatever. Um, whereas previously Nintendo consoles, that would just never be a, an issue. Do you know what I mean? There wasn't um, any games. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah good point. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I like I, I know what you're saying, Sean. But for me, in my personal situation, mm. um, I, if Harry wanted his own Switch, I, I don't think he'd be happy with the light. Really? Um, yeah, he just loves playing on the telly. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, he'd be absolutely gutted if he wanted to show me something. Mm. Like, if he shows me something that he wants to, that he's done on the Switch or whatever, he, he wants to plug it in and yeah. then, like, show the whole family yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, no, that makes sense. He, uh, without having that option, I, I think he'd actually be quite gutted. Yeah. Now, like, it, it, had he not experienced mm. that, then I'm sure it wouldn't have been an issue. But because yeah. that's what he's been doing with the Switch for the past couple of years or whatever. Mm. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I think he'd be gutted if if that suddenly went away. But yeah, all right. Sounds sounds like a decent um, decent thing. Yeah, though. it's good. If uh, Ash is happy with it, he's happy yeah. with it. Isn't he? It seems weird though. Like, is this the first time you've bought? No, it isn't, is it? No. I was about to say, is this the first time you bought a console that you know that you're not going to be using much? <laughs> no, because I mean, they've had 2DSs and stuff that I've never touched. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I still was very excited to open this. I mean, I did all this before he came home because, you know, I had to make sure it all worked, obviously. Oh, um, he didn't even get so. that. He didn't yeah. even get the opening of the box. Yeah, you've robbed you him of that, He's James. like, I'll buy it for you, but I am going to be opening the box. With well, the boy. You know, like, all but the updates are insane. It's, the, it's like saying, like, never mind making sure it works. It's like, you can't let a kid open that and they'll be like, right, Give me an hour to sort the account shit yeah. out. Like that's that would be worse. That like, that that's the that's well, that's the parent excuse, isn't it? But you still give them that moment, Jesus. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> okay. I still, presume, um, like, you put it all back in the box for him, right? You didn't just hand it to him. Oh, yeah. just threw it yeah, to the okay. corner. Yeah. Like, your lights in your room in the bin, <laughs> just like covered in newspaper. <laughs> That's the point. Have you? Did you have to when you set up his account? Did you have to put his uh, date of birth in? Fuck off, Dave. Are you going to be able to change that for when Animal Crossing oh, comes yeah. out so it doesn't accidentally <laughs> wish him an happy birthday when you try to keep <laughs> it a secret, you fucking weirdo? Today. No, you're not. Oh, you're still that annoying. reminds me. I've got a confession. Um, I think I think we're moving Isaac's birthday this year. <laughs> <gasps> no! <laughs> moving it? Only by a day. Um, That's too his, much his already. His birthday's cool. on a Monday and like we cannot get it off work, so... Happy birthday on Sunday, Isaac. Right? See, it's fine. <laughs> no one knows. No one cares. He's, He's only fine. two. He won't even remember it. Exactly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You are turning into James Farley. <laughs> one day. Think of that. One day, all right. He's going to remember you know, we, we were to- we were t- on Instagram. We like, were totally... Why do you think my birthday was on? Hang we were- on. <laughs> we were totally all right with it until we told the childminder that she was having him on his birthday. And she was like, I'm having him on his birthday. Like, she was quite shocked. And we were like, oh, yeah, there's... Bad, so it doesn't it? matter. It's, <laughs> fun. it's just a fucking day, isn't it? <laughs> but, but hang on, aren't they still having? I don't know. She's not having him on the birthday now. If it, if no, it the doesn't matter, is having him and on it's his just birthday. a fucking okay, day. Yeah, 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 the childminder is still happening, having him on, on a, his birthday. Just because you've moved his fake birthday, that doesn't change that. Yeah, yeah. So his his real birthday, the childminder. Normally, she wouldn't have him on that day but yeah his real birthday listen to yourself also james if it's only a day and it doesn't really matter why move it at all then dave 
the reason I had to move it was because my <laughs> wife was out of the country and then was coming back like a couple of days after his birthday. We thought it no after her birthday it was Rachel. We yeah, thought yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember which which was talking about talking about James. James. <laughs> We thought it would be nicer for us to Objection. have a birthday all together rather than yeah. making her miserable no, 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 with the fact that her mum wasn't there. We, 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 I don't we do see what's going on. James, it's just funny. Sorry. Okay, Under James. the bloody calm. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. <laughs> right, okay. James, actually, it seems you've got a big mouth. What, are you, <laughs> what have you been playing this week? What's going on here today? This is insane. What is going on here today? <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> Oh God, what I have played some other stuff. I mean, I played, I played and finished Control, and oh, no. brilliant! I'm delighted that I'm finished with that game now because really, I mean, there are some good ideas, but I just didn't think it was particularly like good, like especially with the main quest. Okay. And the end of the game is incredibly frustrating and awful. Oh, I can't. But you are like the only person that I've heard that's had. Negative that's stuff that's complete that bullshit, game. Dave. Lo- every- listen, yeah, I tweeted. I mean, well, hold on! Whoa! 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 whoa. What? How do you know uh, who I've heard talk don't about this game? Don't start trying to get it down. What I'm saying is you're trying to say that nobody's don't, had don't a problem with this down, game. Dave. Don't start you're getting saying, it down. You're saying nobody's had a problem with this game apart from me, which no, is bullshit. I didn't say that. Oh, look, fuck I didn't off, say that. All right. I, mean, I, I said you're the only person that I've said to be negative about this game. I didn't say you were the only person <sighs> that doesn't like this game. I'm just saying I'm surprised. I've heard a lot of people talk about the game and none, no, you're the, f- the only one that's been negative about it. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying no one else has been negative about it. But it's just on based on the people that I've heard talk about it. That's all. Yep. It's all calmed down. We've all got a bit serious tonight, haven't we? Let's make a pact. Let's all be mates. You're not Dave Fuck it, nah, be mates. Fuck that. This is a new Dave, new era. No, I don't know. Like, this sounds like a piss take, Everyone's... Dave. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah you're <laughs> making it worse. Isn't isn't it? Oh, look, Dave's laying another trap. Let's just dive oh, in. Fucking yes. <laughs> James, why? Why? Uh, what, so what? What sticks out? Like why? I mean, why the negative feelings towards the end? Of this it's game? mostly because the end run of the game is like just really frustrating and awful, and it's it's repetitive the ending yeah, but why why is it awful? well okay because what they do there's a really bad difficulty spike towards the end where they Agreed, throw definitely yeah they they i mean yeah matt i mean you really like the game didn't you but even you would have yeah to i agree thought it was fantastic was... but the the, the the last bit is uh frustrating to say the least okay. and it's it, it i mean it took me quite a long time to get through and it, it's one of those things where you can be very close to the end of like finishing something and then some suddenly something will kill you for like no like they'll mm. come from nowhere pretty much and you're dead and then you've got to go through the whole thing again where there's like the checkpointing is really poor like it takes such a long time to get back to where you were and it, it it's the point where you're starting to think i don't know if i can even be bothered with this this is just really really irritating me at this point and they just made me really angry i mean the game <laughs> it's it's quite a good game but i just feel it's very uneven like there's there's parts of it are really really brilliant. Like I, there's parts of it I really really enjoyed, but then the combat stuff, particularly towards the end, just really killed it for me and just really yeah, killed the enjoyment. Would you it. say the combat killed it, or just the situations in which you're using the combat? I thought the, the situations, combat was great. No, it's it's not the combat. That's that's not fair because the combat is no. generally quite good. But it's Walk the that back. Yeah. yeah, it's just the um, look. Fuck off, Matt. I'm trying to explain. And Joe, I'm not even going to help you in game of the year with this. I, I'm just. I'm, <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're like. This is ridiculous. There's but you no just point said the combat. It's anything. not the combat. It's it's not the combat at all. You just said the combat was shit. It's not. It's not the combat. No. It and then is. I, what I about said the be... story. Did did did. Uh, and we're trying to be friends now, aren't we? What what about the story? Was it, did that improve at any it's point? It's all right, isn't it? Because I know it's, that you it's were not. I didn't really think didn't it was like anything it. particularly interesting. I mean, that's the other problem I had with it. I mean, it, I guess. That, I mean, that depends on whether you enjoy that or not. And I I didn't think it was particularly well told. I mean, it's better if you start going off into side quests and side stories then it becomes more interesting but mm. in general i i didn't think it was that that interesting and there's i mean there's that whole thing with the maze as well i don't want to yeah. spoil it but that is not a maze like that's i mean i don't know where they where why people think that's genius because it's really not i mean but i can't <laughs> yeah, say no, why no. Well, are, you, yeah, but are, you, are you getting hung up because of what it's called i mean it's an awesome moment do you not think it's a really cool moment it's all right. A really cool sequence. It, I tell you what, it reminded me of Max Payne, like those, you know, those, you know, Definitely. the missions in Max Payne where it goes like, you know, into like dream sequences. It was a lot like yeah. that. Yeah, the blood, yeah, blood trail which was, thing, which was nice, but it, it wasn't like I didn't think it was anything particularly amazing or special. And that the music that they play is not brilliant. I I'd, I'd heard this, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that was a really, really cool moment. It's it definitely one of the coolest moments in games I've had this year. It's just awesome. But, mm-hmm. um, it, but even that also had like bad, not not bad checkpointing, but I had to do that lots of times because I kept dying. Um, yeah. And I think if I'd done it in one go, it would have been even better. But uh, 
yeah, I, I found that for that to be quite a big difficulty spike. Maybe I was just terrible at the game on that point but i think that's the point actually i tried it and i thought i'll tell you what i'll do some side missions and i was struggling at side missions as well hold on hold on hold on right so i've not played this game the 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 maze stuff what i mean you obviously don't want to spoil it but like can't you talk around it what is it just like a a side no um, is it a combat area is it puzzles what what is it no what it is is it's an area of the game where if you go there uh before you find something it's a maze that you can't get through. Like, it's not possible to get through it. Uh, but then you find items which so then why... help you uh, to get through it. No. But then... Right, so it kind of turns it into a bit of a Metroidvania. It, it, it is a bit of a Metroidvania no. in general, the game. Oh, right, yeah. okay. But it's... But, the, the... Uh, but that particular sequence isn't. It's just like a really awesome combat uh, sequence, really. Okay. With amazing music. Well... I've heard it has bad music. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's our opinion. Yeah. That's people's opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was there on that side, Sean. Uh, I didn't think the music was, was that great, but uh, yeah. yeah. But I mean, overall, the game is absolutely fine. It's just that I don't think it should be near Game of the Year lists because I think it's too uneven and I think it has too many problems uh, to make it like uh, like really, really stand out as being something special. In my opinion, it's uh, yeah, the thing. So uh, the other like major criticism I heard about this game uh, leading up to you know just after release was how bad the performance was you know the uh, stuttering mm. and slowdown and stuff. Um, there was a patch that had uh, like vastly improved that, yeah. right? So did you notice that? Was yeah. that still an issue? I, I really noticed that because I mean I was playing it on PS4 Pro and after the patch it was significantly better. I only got slowed down a couple of times, and not in combat sequences either, which was good. The The weirdest time I had slowed down was after I'd just like, respawned at a control point, and then there was all that sort of stuttering and everything. Yeah. But in yeah. general play, it was fine. It, I didn't have any problem with that, which was... Apparently, which was okay. it's the it's your, your base PS4 and Xbox One. It's like It was like unplayable at times. Mm-hmm. Um, but but yeah. even on the X, it, it wasn't great when I played it. Um, it's, it's, probably, it's probably better Earth. with the match. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Anything uh, else? I've also played. I mean, I played Gears Five, um, but I've only played like the first part of like Act One from that. But I'm really liking that so far. I mean, after uh, it's just so good to shoot things yeah. in that game. And that's it's the nuts. thing because after Control, this feels a lot more sort of like weighty and like it just yeah it feels really really nice to like do do the shooting. You've played it a bit this this week, haven't you, uh, Matt? Yeah, I I, um, I was playing a lot of Zelda, so I didn't play as much as I like. But yeah, I'm, I'm in I'm in Act Two. Um, that I mean, that, that first win Act Two is absolutely stunning. Um, I it's really funny because I see you tweet about this, and then I did it, and I thought I don't look that good, you know I but I think that no, that's almost definitely down to the fact that I'm not seeing it in HDR. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it, this game does HDR like, amazingly well, but I just thought it's like a, it, it it felt very God of War. I know that they said that there's been like inspiration from that, it, like the, even, really? even the way the camera was over mm. the shoulder and like just. I, I, I when that... you're walking through the town, ta- we're talking about the bit where you're walking through the town and everyone's calling you a fascist. Sorry, uh, yeah, but um, the bit where, yeah, the, the, the bit where you go to that settlement for the first time and look around it, yeah, I just thought it looked stunning. Oh, I, was... I thought the detail was wow. amazing. Okay. I mean, the only other, I mean, I'm only playing this on the original Xbox, and it still looks fantastic though on that. I would, I was surprised because it's and the performance is still really like excellent as well. That's like, worth no... knowing because I've I've still not played it. I've got it installed on both the PC and the Xbox, yeah. um, and I just yeah haven't heard, I haven't heard anything about the PC port. So I might just try that. If it's fine, I might just stick with that. But if not, at least I know the the Xbox One will be all right. Yeah, it's 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 absolutely fine. It's um mm. yeah, I was quite impressed. And it, I mean, I just cool. found it instantly <clears throat> enjoyable because there doesn't feel like yeah. there's this sort of like layer of bullshit that Control had. It's um it's just good. It's you know it's just I think it's great. Yeah, no, I I, I mean I played it a little bit more this week. Uh, I. Yeah, you know, nowhere near as much as I wanted to, uh, but yeah, I I really want to go back to it and and hammer through it. I've just been preoccupied this week, uh, but yeah, I I mean I haven't got. Did you when you say uh, you got into Act Two? Did you get to the open world bit yet, Matt? Uh, no, no. I, I was I was looking around that that first area and then uh, and then I think that's it really. Yeah, because then it starts a big uh, action sequence. Oh, it's yeah. upset. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm but I'm very excited about that. Uh, getting back to that at some point but uh, hopefully as I said have they mentioned have you heard any news about any improvements for the server issues and stuff 
I have a note. I mean, I haven't been looking for it, um, but no, I haven't heard. Right, well, we should give it a go again. I know we said this last week, but we absolutely should put a night aside and yeah, try yeah. and hammer through some of it because we we sounds like we're exactly the same place anyway. All right, okay. And I've also played Untitled Goose Game. Should we do this which, chat? Um, yeah, Might as well. Yeah. Eh? So I played. You all played I it, played yeah. through it. Um, you've played through it. You've you've got to the credits, or have you played everything, James? I've got to the credits. Right, yeah. yeah. So I've got to the credits. Sean, you played one Done the area, first level, baby. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is a quite large chunk of the game. It turns out. Um, really? Okay. Yeah, it's very short. It is very very short. Right. Uh, yeah, but fine. James, what did you think of it? I really loved it. I thought it was great. I really loved it too, James. I thought it was great. No, that was good. Right, good. Let's <laughs> talk about it then. Um, so, Untitled Goose Game, I'm sure you've heard of this game. Uh, it's been sort of buzzing around for a while. It was shown off initially by Nintendo, wasn't it, on one of their directs? And it sort mm-hmm. of caught the eye of people because of two things, really. The, firstly, the art style is is quite striking. Very flat colours, very, uh, you know, based on silhouettes of everything, but um, mm. real bold. Sort of un- untextured, yeah, quite, yeah, untextured, like, so quite muted. Pas- pastel colours stuff. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. and also the, the incredible animation, you know, the way people yeah. run, the way the goose walks. The way the goose and, moves. Yeah, the way the yeah. goose moves, the way <laughs> it, 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 um, uh, it looks at things, the way it flaps its wings, everything, you know, like that all... In motion, this game is absolutely wonderful. Um, but w- one thing that was a concern for a lot of people, uh, I think yourself included, Sean, was that mm. uh, it seemed to be like one of those, you know, goat simulator style games. Like, is this going mm. to be so wacky? And I think one of the major issues uh, when it comes to that is the title, you know, Untitled Goose Game. And when it first yeah. came out, we all thought, is that a placeholder? Um, because it sounds yeah. like a placeholder. Um, and then they went ahead and did it anyway, guys. It's called Untitled <laughs> Goose Game. Um, the, the, I think that title really does it a disservice because you do yeah. think, oh, it's wacky. And then when you play yeah. it, it's anything but wacky. It's not wacky, no. It's just the tone oh, of I it. I hate saying this, but it's delightful. Yeah, it? well, it's this the, is it. The, yeah, the, the, all the humour in it is it's the mundane, isn't it? That's why it's funny. Absolutely. It's not particularly wacky. Absolutely. It's all quite believable, other than this one goose is being a fucking dick. And, and yeah. I, I can tell you this, Sean, is that I said yeah. to you <clears throat> over the weekend, wouldn't it be funny if the last level you load up your to do list and it just said, kill a man, right? <laughs> Which. <laughs> It would, I guess, it would have made me laugh, but at the same time, it would have been a shame because it was like, oh, now it's gone like, oh, suddenly the spot is red and he's grown really big and he's biting people's (laughs) heads off and that's the end of the game. (laughs) You know, like, that's where I thought this, that's a a direction that game could have gone. It Mm. doesn't do that at all. The ending, I won't go into it, I adore adored the ending james i don't yeah, know was, yeah, i yeah. thought it was so wonderful and more importantly so in keeping with the tone of the whole game that it yeah. was just uh, there's not many games you know what it felt there's like, not Dave? many games that i've loaded up played from start to finish and and just constantly grinned at everything like everything <laughs> that w- was making me smile there's like even from everything from reading the to-do list to working out how to do the things on that list, to trying something that doesn't work but still manages to make you laugh, to the setting, to <clears throat> the way, and you saw a bit of this, Sean, to the way that yeah. all the levels are connected. Like, yeah. even the way everything is, you know, it's like, at first, well, initially going into it, I thought, right, you do a level, you'll get a loading screen, it'll probably tell you how well you've done, and then on to the next level. It doesn't do that. It's all one world. Like, it's all one little area, rather than, you know, segregated levels or whatever. It's just... And the first time you sort of work that out, or you open a gate and you realise where you have you are next, like, oh, I've been here before, look. You know, that dark, dark Souls thing where you open up a gate, you walk through and you're like, oh, I've just opened up a shortcut. I know where I am now. <laughs> it's just shit. James, that bit in the, you know, the third area. Mm-hmm. Do you know, you know that third area, right? Are you talking? <sighs> right. Okay. Neighbours. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> one of the tasks on that list for that 
I was to do with the man, right? I'm really mm. talking around this because I don't want to spoil things, right? And I thought, okay, that's a pretty standard task. How am I going to do this? Then I saw what was behind him and I just belly laughed yeah. because it's not like, because it's some of these things are puzzles. Some of these are like, right, how can I do this? Other things are just like tests, I guess. It's kind of, there are multiple, loads of different ways to get to achieve what's on this list. Get creative and try it, try different things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I was listening to, again, it, it was either Beastcast or Giant Bomb uh, today. And was it? No, it wasn't because they weren't talking about it. It was some other podcast. Um, and they were talking about this game and they were saying, yes, of course, you know, it's easy to get people like oh one of them's to get the farmer wet so what you have to do you know you just no that was it how to get into the garden that's your first task so what you have to do is you pick up the radio and then he comes and turns the radio off and i'm like nope don't have to do that at all i can think of four <laughs> other ways of getting into that garden but you've just yeah. assumed that that's the one way that you do it because that's how yeah. you did it so there are various yeah. different like types of tests but when i came across that one where where I saw what was behind the man, it it just it might as well have gone. Here's the answer to that to that task, but it was just so funny that I I didn't care the fact that it was just an easy throwaway thing to do in the game. It just made me laugh a hell of a lot, and it, that's kind of sums up what this game is to me. Anyway, is that every little thing behind it is about making you smile you know and it achieves that it achieves that perfectly so if you were put off by the title and you were worried that this was going to be wacky you you shouldn't you should buy it if you like if yeah. if you watch five minutes of gameplay of this game and something raises a smile then buy the game because it's very short it's an hour and a half two hours and i'm sure we'll get to that later but if that if you just watching someone play it's made you smile, then there are a lot more smiles to be had than in this game. Like, and it's, you know, it's just, it keeps it up right to the very end. Uh, yeah. It's, it's just wonderful. There's also, I mean, the music is brilliant as well. Cause it's got like the playful sound of the piano. It's, it's, like, whenever the action, like it's, it's like, like silent movie kind of thing, yeah. you know, which mm. is just, which is really brilliant. It's, it's a piss great. take with that. Like it, yeah. it shows you, how well a bit of good game design and a good bit of good sound design can just take <laughs> games to the next level. So the idea is there's no music in the game unless something's happening that's a little bit dramatic. So I think actually I think the only sort of automated bit of the bit of the um uh music is the game in the game is when you first enter the garden because it does that little yeah, thing so, yeah. and that's it mm -hmm. right the rest of it you the music kicks in when the farmer chases you or sees you or gets startled or if you manage to steal something it mm -hmm. it would then like dum, do, do, dum, do, 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 as you're as you're running yeah. away with it and it it works so well because it just well, yeah because it increases in intensity it increases as well, doesn't the it, when intensity, things it makes <laughs> it funnier you know it mm. adds to the drama and everything it's just fuck man this was way better than I thought it was. Like, yeah. like, like it's way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and the settings are just perfect. Uh, the uh, it's so well done. And surprisingly, you know, it's running on Switch, but it does not skip a beat, does it? There's no stuttering no. at all, which all adds to it. Um, yeah, it's it's bloody wonderful. So, in your playthrough, James, did you complete everything? How do you mean? I mean, I saw the credits. No, did you do I, all I, of the this... tasks? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah same here. But it's, so, have you gone back to do some of the other ones? No, because there's another list, isn't there? Yeah. And I've done one or two of them, but I'm intending to go back and there's do the rest. There's some very there's, clever um... ones in there. Like, yeah. so, so once you've... I mean, I... So essentially there's five areas, Sean. Yeah. Once you complete it, and this isn't a spoiler, I don't think this is a spoiler, mm. so, but skip ahead if you're really concerned about it. Um... There's like it kind of not doesn't link the areas, but it gives you tasks that involves you stealing stuff from one area and putting it into okay. another scene. Cool. So that completely yeah. blows my mind now because it's like, of course you could do that. I wonder what will happen if I do this and and mm. that. So it sort of opened up that sort of playful mind again. Um, 
So yeah, man, it's just so clever. What what a game? Mm. I mean, I think did the, you, obviously, I've not. Oh God, sorry. I was going to say, did you find any of the puzzles like at all frustrating? Because only when I was overthinking them. So there was a few mm-hmm. puzzles that I was kind of like, ah, oh, there must be a way of doing this. There must be a, you know, a system here. I need to think of it. And, and really, it's actually very, very straightforward. Like, for example, the break the broom one. Um, mm-hmm. I was thinking, oh, yeah, what can was, I do yeah. to break the broom? I've got to do this. And then when I just, when it happened, I was like, of course it's that. Like, it's not a difficult game. It's not a challenging game. You've got to think a little bit more straightforward than than you do when you first go into it. I think um, the one the one that I had the most trouble with was the was the bucket. Do, do you know which one I mean? Uh, the bucket, a bucket on the head. Yeah, I, I knew that instantly because I'd seen oh, okay. it up. Because it did you struggle because you didn't see it on the wall? I didn't know where it was. Right, yeah. okay, and I was yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. where I'm getting this from? Yeah, no, <laughs> just, we knew what yeah. to do instantly because we spent a long time in that area, so we completely like uh, scoured everything. I'll tell you yeah. what though. Get uh, that was the only part of the game though that did frustrate me was getting into that area. Um, it's because you know you have to go in and out of there quite a few times, and it's like every time I, I know I know how to do it, but it always just felt a bit. Yeah, but you irritating do know that there's several ways that you can get in there. Well, I only found one. What way did you find? Uh, well, I I used the box. Right. Okay. Was, so was I, I just distracted the guy and run past how? him. It's actually a piece of piss to do. You run off to the corner and just like honk him. And he yeah. gets confused and walks out of the way, and then you just like dash behind so he doesn't oh, okay. see you, and then you run in behind him. It's just, yeah, it's really easy. But I, so I, I still also love doing that stuff, like you know, when you just like hide somewhere and then just pop your head out and honk yeah, at yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Like... I was going to say that having not played as much, the only thing I'd have to add is like, yeah, you know, like Dave was saying, how good it looks and how amazing the animation is. It's like, like it's good. The animation is good in the sense that it looks realistic. But also in the sense that, like, just like slowly walking around someone, yeah, I've got for mm. a minute, it's... and then just doing a little honk and then sprinting off with your wings out, it's just fucking hilarious yeah. to look yeah. at. Yeah, it's yeah, so it's funny. Like that boy, it's... you know the boy that you <laughs> oh, can mate, just like, I've follow around. I've never felt so guilty just... about <laughs> fucking someone. I've killed God knows how many c- computer game characters, <laughs> and I've never felt as bad as I did like when I was nicking his glasses child. and stuff. Like, oh, yeah. it was just as a new glass wearer i felt the pain <laughs> of that child. um but yeah and it it's like every little thing as well like there's so many like neat little touches like honking into the well and stuff for the first time and you know all of that stuff is just it's so clever isn't it like mm-hmm. and then I, I i suppose this then brings us to the only negative that i can possibly come up with uh for this game genuinely the only thing that sort of sticks in the tooth a little bit is the price. Um, because really, yeah, I mean, well, I, only pay, I paid 10 for it, but that's probably because I had some coins. Well, I mean, it was like 13 you, you quid. You had some wasn't coins it? and it's on, um, yeah. it's on sale. It was 13 at the moment quid on sale, yeah. So it's like 18 pound. Um, oh, is it? Yeah, as a standard on, uh, on Switch. I'm sure that's how much it said it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was 17.99, 17. but then. First week was yeah down to thirteen. You'll have it completed, or you get to the credits within, you know, an hour and a half, two hours, maybe a little mm. bit longer. Because I was fucking around. I mean, that a lot is, I, I love a short game. Everyone knows that, but that is, yeah, that's a, that's a funny that's old pricey. ratio, isn't it? And yeah. it's it's sad, really, because I think it will put a lot of people off, and it's also mm. being mentioned a lot on podcasts and reviews that I've read. Um, yeah. And there is a big focus on how short the game is. Like that always comes up in all the reviews that I've read. And I think that's such a shame because part of me thinks. Um, so initially I thought I'm really glad it just stopped before it got, it got irritating. Right. Which is something we talk about a lot on this show. When when you get really short games that are, that have a higher price point than, than you would expect. Right. Um, mm-hmm. But then I, I went back and thought, actually, no, maybe there's more they could have done here. Like, they could have mm. done some other areas, I think. And it, it 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 still had the momentum to sort of maintain that enjoyment. Uh, so, yeah, I do think it could have done with being longer. Um, I mean, is there potential that, like, 
because of the sort of game it is, like, could you six months down the or like say at Christmas you got family round, is there any chance you'll still be like, mate, stick this oh, on? Have it's a laugh. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. It's definitely yeah, gonna yeah. be in game. You can go anywhere and just start messing things around. It's can't really you? Yeah. easy it's... to play. It's really easy to understand and uh yeah. even if you're not following the to do list, nicking someone's hat and running off while they're chasing you is funny yeah. and will get a laugh every time. <laughs> um yeah. It's one of those games that I will sit people down in front of and just go, play this for a bit. Just play yeah. it. Um, and yeah, it, it, so there is that. But it's always going to be one of those games where you go, this is so good. But, you know, just a heads up, it is like, you know, an hour and a half, two hours long. Yeah. It's... Well, I'm just uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at the store now. So yeah, it's supposed to be seventeen ninety nine. It's currently thirteen forty nine. And it, to me, that yeah, for, that makes all the difference. It, it really That's does. Like... It does, doesn't yeah. it? Knocking that three yeah. quid off is it's stupid, yeah. really. But knocking that three quid, yeah. quid off makes me go, I'll just like buy this. It's really mm. good. Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't know, man. It's uh, it's one of my favourite games I've played this year, simply because for for the vast majority of it. I was sat next to my son, pissing myself. Like, we were both just <laughs> belly laughing. And, like, Harry, you know, he tries the uh, he tries the challenges. He's done a few of them. But mm-hmm. for the most part, he's just running into a shop, nicking something and hiding it. And for <laughs> that, for him, it is just the funniest thing. In that uh. second to last area, James, the one we were talking about mm-hmm. where you were getting in in the box, um... He nicked a flower, just hid it in the corner and found it hilarious that the guy that chases after you couldn't find it anywhere. Like it was just, (laughs) it was the best thing to him, you know. And it's good that it's robust enough that those systems are all in place. And like, it's not just looking for the things you need to do to do the, yeah, yeah. The objectives, is it? It's, yeah. Also, I don't know, like, if you've not played this yet and you intend to get it, and this is something that I always struggle with with games like this, I always worry. Is it broken? Has it has mm. something glitched out? Uh, am I a, a situation where I can't actually do this task uh, because you know it's it's broken? Well, this game d- does not do that. Like it is, right. as you say, robust is the word. Like mm. if if um, you shut a door and you don't think there's any possible way that you can get back through that door and that the game's done. Um, there'll always be a character on a loop that will eventually sort that situation out. You know what I mean? Right. It's it's yeah. set up like that. You know, we had a situation where um, uh, the goose got locked in to a garage and I was like, well, there's no real way to get out now, but just so happened one of the characters was doing the rounds and I noticed, like before we'd even honked, noticed the garage door was <laughs> shut so opened the garage door again and then of course you were standing there with your wings like out just honking the moment it opened up <laughs> to scare them you know it's just yeah really really fun i thought it was going to be wacky it's not it's got a wonderful tone to it and it sticks to it throughout um but i'm so glad you enjoyed it as well james because i'd have been really upset if you didn't like it no no it was it was really good and yeah i've been playing with the, with the kids as well i'll tell you what it reminds me a bit of Okay, this is a bad comparison because it's not an amazing game. Is mm. you remember Octodad? Uh, no, oh, I've yeah, heard yeah. that. I've heard that comparison. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's. I, I mean, obviously, it's a lot better than that. Like significantly better. But for the children, it's still because like Rachel in particular loved playing that game, even though it's borderline uncontrollable in places. She just loved going around messing around with stuff. Mm. And it's that's really what I mean. You can do that in this as well, but it's just a lot more sort of finessed and yeah, works works a lot better. Yeah, and it's not wacky. That's the thing I like about this, like you said, because I've never really been that interested in what what are those other ones we were talking about a second ago. Goat Simulator. Yeah, I've not mm. really interested in that at all because no, of the, the wacky. Yeah, because that's like oh, the goat's got rockets and it's on yeah. a skateboard. <laughs> yeah. and, uh. But this, <laughs> I mean, this feels a lot more like a. Uh, it feels more like a like a child's like book, if you know what I mean. It's like a like, Monty like... Python sketch. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. You're 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 right. I am way off base. You're absolutely right. It is a child's book. It's a it's Especially a good child's ending. book. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Well, that is it's perfect. the only the the only sort of I don't know supernatural element of it is that yeah like obviously the goose has human intelligence because you're controlling it. Everything else is perfectly believable. Like. 
there's nothing about it that makes you think, well, that would never happen other than maybe a goose wouldn't be smart enough to wind people up so elegantly. But like, <laughs> but it's still just a goose just doing goose things. Yeah. And mm. yeah, it's all believable, basically. Also, I mean, also the looks the inc- that the humans give you as you're walking around is just fucking funny. You can't, <laughs> they've got no facial expressions, but the fact yeah. that they'll just slow down and then slowly look around at you. The, the bit where the groundskeeper, <laughs> this isn't a bit, this is just something that happens. Yeah. But if the groundskeeper's digging up like some carrots or whatever, and you walk near him, he just follows you like he's still doing his digging or whatever, but his head <laughs> but his is just slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he has got eyes. It's just his head yeah, is sorry. just turning as you're walking past. And that is fucking funny. It's just funny to watch. <laughs> See, I, and it's I really that, love like, that ending. It's like it, there's just a purity to it, which just, yeah, it, it made me. I would love yeah, someone to stream this. Like, mm-hmm. through, yeah. playing through for the first time. Like, Matt, I, th- I think you'd love, you'd adore this game. Yeah, I do want to. I do want to play it. And, that, and now you said about the price and the fact it's on offer now. Maybe mm. I'll get it that, now um, before it goes back up. For anyone who's curious, that offer is on until the fourth of October, so you got a bit of time. But, oh, okay, good, good. Yeah, yeah definitely get um, it at that price. Um, mm-hmm. You know, going yeah, in. Because I was also put, put off for the whole like wackiness, and but I've heard so many people say such good things about <laughs> it, and I like, also heard lots of comparisons to Hitman. I was going to say because yeah. uh, that that comparison is fascinating because I I sort of get it, but what's also really funny is that. Like yeah, but Hitman, where you've got license to just like be as awful as you want, and no one, because no, you know, no right-minded human being is like, I'm gonna kick the fuck out of this goose. Like they just sort of chase you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's <laughs> yeah, there's no game over like, screen. But like, yeah, exactly. W- w- I don't like that comparison, and I'll tell you why. Mm-hmm. The only way it's linked to Hitman is that you're just like following people around a bit, and then pick. The difference is Hitman is very tongue in cheek, and this doesn't feel it's not that sort of humor. It's not like sort of there's not innuendo or flamboyant characters. You know, when I say that, I mean like sort of over exaggerating cartoon characters. Like they're all just very sun. It's so hard to describe, but <laughs> I don't know if this works for you as well, James, but. They're all just so Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and like, mm-hmm. th- that's, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's what it is. And I mean, it gets a little, a tiny bit silly at the end, but it it's still way within that tone. And as you say, mm-hmm. I mean, that's the best I've heard. Don't compare this to Hitman, because I don't think that gets the message across. Right? Mm-hmm. I see what you're saying, but... This is so wildly different to that in so many ways that I think that's a poor comparison. I think James saying this is like a child's book about a naughty goose. <laughs> that is way more in keeping with what this game is like. Um, yeah. And I think what, what's really fascinating is that Untitled Goose Game is, if anything, more comfortable with you just being the villain. Whereas, you know, Hitman's like, yeah, you're murdering people, but they're all bastards. They sort of got it coming. Whereas this is like, no, you're just a goose and you hate everyone. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> you're just being a dick for no, being a dick. No though. apologies, no mitigation. And it's just, no, it's, you're a fucker. Just get <laughs> it's, it's great. Uh, and the, the ultimate punchline at the end, uh, as we say, I mean, we've talked about the ending, but. The <clears throat> there's a final punchline there that just puts a grin on your face, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's what I said. It, it there was a yeah. That's where it felt like it was like a like a child's book to me because it was just like, of course that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like, yeah, totally. which is really nice. Totally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, if if you've been put off by the title uh, or or the fact that you thought it might be a bit wacky, please don't. Um, if you Go and watch, like, if you're really sort of not sure, go and watch someone play the opening area, and if you get one little smile out of it, mm. stop watching it and buy the game, because it's, uh, you, you'll you be grinning, uh, and especially knowing that going in that it's not that long, then I don't think you'll be disappointed at all, really. There's nothing to be disappointed about. It's, it's wonderful. What mm. a surprise. I mean, really, I, I was looking forward to it, but ultimately, it still blew me away more than I thought it would. So, yeah, um, yeah I'm glad you enjoyed it, James. I did. I thought it was, yeah, really good. Good. All right. Is that it for your list? 
Uh, the only other thing was Link's Awakening. Um, but I know Matt's played a lot more oh, than that of me. That's I'd, not a I'd, big deal, is it? Let's I mean, should I mean, we just... Get, I mean, there are a few more games on our list to uh, talk about, but let, I feel like we're on a bit of a roll here. So should we get straight into Link's Awakening stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah, go for it. Who's been playing it? Just Matt and well, Jay. I, as I said, I've, yeah, I've, I've played it, but I've, I've barely played it. I mean, I, it's just... The only thing I've got to say about it at the moment is like the technical side is a bit of a shame, I think. Um, really? Yeah, I had heard about it, some slowdown. Is it that bad? Yeah, it's. Okay. Uh, I, I, I mean, it was the beginning, but I, I now I just sort of don't. You got used to it now, yeah. I, I'm so used to it. I don't. I don't see it at the beginning. I was like, oh wow, hell, and like there's some there's some weird frame. It goes like 30 frames, or it, it goes a bit weird. But you know, and at the beginning it was a bit of a jolt. But now I just don't. What know is it? Now. When is is that in combat or is that just walking? No, about it's or what? in. Okay, from what I've played of it so far, in the like in the first village when you're in, there's quite a lot of slowdown in there, which is kind of a bit weird. But there's also this sort of like blurring at the edge of, at the sides of the screen as well, which I think you probably get used to after a while. But in the beginning, it feels. I've said it. In the beginning, uh, is, that, is uh, that a stylistic <laughs> choice? Then, that that thing. I think. Yeah, I think yeah, it's a stylistic it is, yeah. choice, but it, I don't know. I don't think it looks that yeah, great. Yeah, it gives it a sort of like tilt shift style, mm. but it, like, but the it makes everything look really, tiny, doesn't it? That's the yeah. But the yeah. depth of field when you first play, I was like, if, it's like blow it. You know, it's like blow it at the top of the screen, blow it at the bottom of the screen. It feels like you don't see much of the screen, but again, I'm fully used to that now, and I don't mm. feel as uh, it doesn't feel as cramped as it did when it first. Um, when I first played it, but yeah, it was a bit of a poor first impression because I was like, I wasn't even in the main village. I went to the beach and I was like, oh, hang on, this is, oh, you don't sort of expect that really with Nintendo games. No, I was about games, to say that's I not didn't. a Nintendo thing, is it really? Well, I don't know because Breath but, of the Wild had quite a bit few problems when it first came out, but it did get patched, you know, because mm-hmm. there was a slowdown and stuff with that. But yeah, it got better. This is why I'm hoping with this is they're also it will get patched at some point. I mean, the only other problem I had with it is the control system because you know it's like eight way control system still, but it's not real analog. So that feels a bit odd as well to begin with. But what are you using to poison. move that? You, use you can the only use you can only use the stick. No, you can only use the stick. Right, okay. the really? Yeah, that's annoying. Okay. Isn't it? I, I, so many times I grow to grab the D pad and it's on it. Yeah. Can't yeah, I remember yeah. Now. Yeah. So it's like you have to use the stick, although there is still only eight way movement. So it feels a bit odd, you know, from that. Yeah, but, but again, is that any different to? Have you played any um, of the one that was linked to the past? Yeah, and it, is it the same? That is that eight way movement. Uh yeah, because that, that felt great. Oh, mm-hmm. I really, lo- I mentioned it last week. I-, I thought that felt great, so I'm surprised that it's such a big issue here. But it's not. I wouldn't say it's a big I don't issue. Think it's an it issue, just feels really. a bit odd, like to begin with. It just feels and looks a bit odd, and it adds to sort of like the sort of staccato sort of nature of how it feels because of like the slowdown and everything as well. It f- mm. it makes it feel a bit more jerky than it probably needs to. Okay, but then. As Matt has probably said, it's like the more you play it, you probably don't start to notice that stuff after a while. So, so without that out of the way then, with the technical issues out of the way, Matt, what, how have you been finding it? Yeah, so um, I've got a lot of fun memories of this game. This being my first ever Zelda game. I don't know how old I was when I played it on, on my mate Simon's Game Boy, but it was a long, long time ago. So although I don't have memories of of exactly how to run through the entire game my uh, I, I, it gives me a nice feeling to sort of play this game again and i've and i've been absolutely loving it um i think graphically although we have talked about technical issues um but uh, d- just then I, lo- I do love the look of it uh i think it looks gorgeous there's so many bits where i just think it looks absolutely perfect actually not almost pixar like in in some regards they're nailing they're those very... looks at the moment aren't they when you consider <clears throat> everything they've done it was like kirby's epic, epic yarn decided mm. to really stylize things and then they did Woolly's World and Crafted World and stuff and I feel this is sort of in that vein like whenever I've seen yeah. it it feels kind of like they've ultra stylized it and, and nailed mm. it again for, for me but it's also quite new to Mario Brothers I think mm-hmm. so yeah because uh, so, that and, is and, one of the worst <laughs> Art design yeah. changes. Like. Yeah, so it's strange because there's also bits in this game. Although I haven't played those new Super Mario Bros. games, I know I see what they like. There are bits in this game which are exactly the same, in that there are like 2D platforming bits in exactly the same style as those new Super Mario Bros. games. Right. Okay. Um, we're which is strange. It's a, it's a strange addition. I don't really know why the sections are in there. I don't think they really needed. Um, is it? Is it an addition? There. Well, didn't they have two D I mean, side scrolling bits in the original game, James? You, do you know? Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, okay, but it, it's just because it's so. It feels so much like as new Super Mario Brothers games. I'm just not. It, I don't know. I, I wasn't a huge fan of those bits. There's also um, characters from other 
from other Mario games as well. Yeah, there's there's a whole yeah. bunch of that. I mean, it's because it's Which, part of the theme of what the game's about. So that's yeah, that's why they're there. Yeah, but like yeah, I mean, as well as uh, the, the, there's like those models you can collect in the game, and those are of like of, of other sort of characters in Nintendo. But it's also like Goombas and Shy Guys, even like um, little Splatoon squid really? people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> in certain sections, um, well, which is fine. I, I don't think, again, I definitely really needed, it, but it's, it doesn't well, no, matter. It's, well, they do, because it's part of the, the theme of the game, like, of what the, the whole main story of it is. That's why that yeah, stuff's but, there. I was wondering yeah, if, this, I mean, if if this is spoilable or not, given that's, that obviously that's the, the problem, originals... Yeah. I don't, yeah. don't want to say anymore. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, I just thought I just thought it was, I thought it was a bit weird. But yeah, regardless, um, I'm loving it. I'm on the... Um, I'm just about to get to the sixth dungeon, I think, out of... I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've basically I've armed to a six. I've, I've done some other stuff as well on the way, and yeah, I've, I've I haven't been able to put it down this weekend really. I've I've, I've absolutely loved it. Even LED started playing it, which is it's awesome. Like she, oh, nice. she's been she's been watching me playing it, and uh, she, she's got quite into it. And it's quite lean in, in like the overworld. You, you can get through it without getting killed, and you can still have a bit of fun. So, um, but no, it's it's absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm going to keep playing it until I finished it um, in the next few days. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's awesome. I'll tell you, how far have you got, James? Uh, I've only done just after the first dungeon, so I barely played okay. it. Because I mean, I I went back to the goose game, so but I will play it this week. Is is my plan? Yeah, it's awesome. And, and Sean and uh, David, do do you fancy this or? How are you, Sean? Uh, I do, but it's going to be one of those like not now. It'll probably be next year. I'll give it a go because I played Link's Awakening on well on the Game Boy Color. I think I got oh, yeah. for Christmas and uh, with that game, I can't be confident and say that I completed it but I'm pretty sure I did I mean I mm-hmm. I see no reason why I don't really remember playing through it all so it, it's it not kind of... I mean one of the good things about it is I mean it's it's not a very difficult game at all no. like it's quite mm. everything is pretty straight I mean I think it's because the the original design limitations of the Game Boy kind of necessitated that so it's it's quite straightforward and uh, yeah, which which is good. I enjoy that. It's quite straightforward, and 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 it's not like a sixty-hour Zelda game. Yeah, it's yeah. like a fifteen or maybe okay. twenty-hour. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I don't know how because I know you've been into. Oh, well, uh, no, <laughs> well, yeah, but I, I, yeah, I looked at the original ones, and it was like fifteen or twenty or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, that but puts it's not it a sixty-hour into... thing like Ocarina. That puts it into like buy it and smash it and trade it in territory, doesn't it? But then I said that yeah. about Astral Chain, and I'm still picking away at that. So. <laughs> Yeah, your Astral Chain was like closer to thirty. This yeah, it's is about way closer to fifteen. Okay. Yeah, mm. yeah, cool. No, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely yeah. loving it, and uh, it, it's just a joy. Uh, the, the, the music's great. It looks great, and uh, it's just great to be in that world. Like it, it just doing like the uh, the se- the sequence sort of um, sequence chain. We get certain items, and then you find someone else in the in the in the world to give it to. Like even that is it sort of gives me a lot Where of joy. Where are you up to, Matt? Have you done any of the dungeons? Based on six uh, of them. Yeah. How you? F- well, no, no, I'm on my way to the sixth one. How, how You're we... near the end, Matt. At that, at that point, there's there's not much left after that. Well, I've, I uh, I've, I think there's eight dungeons and there's some other things to do. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, so I'm getting there for sure. Have yeah. you tried any of the you know create your own stuff? Um, I, I I did one that there's like someone you meet um in the game and he, he tells you about that and uh, one of his missions is to is to set out a dungeon layout and stuff and I did that one, um but I I haven't gone back to it. I, I know heard, I can. I've heard that's are... quite shit. Huh? Mm-hmm. I've heard that's quite rubbish. The dungeon, custom dungeon thing. Yeah, I mean, I I, I was more interested in just playing the proper game rather than going back yeah. to that. I mean, it was cool that I could build, um, I, I build build basically new dungeons based on the dungeons I'd already gone to, and 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 you and when you do that, you do get other items which you can only get, I believe, in that sort of mode. It's not even a mode; it's oh, in okay. the game. It's just someone yeah. you visit, yeah. and I believe when you do that, you do get. Benefit, some benefit of some sort. Um, okay, but I did it once, and I, I I don't want I don't really feel need to go back. Maybe maybe I will, but it didn't. I didn't think. Oh, amazing! I can build my own. You know, like Zelda dungeons because because the layouts you can do are fairly simplistic, and also yeah. I just don't have any interest to do that. I want to play the game, get through the story, and and and, and, and enjoy it. it that way. Um, plus, and you can only, sorry, yeah. plus you can only share your levels with other people via Amiibo. Oh, which is, a, oh, is that the only decision, way? Right? Yeah. yeah, apparently, yeah. Oh, it's not code or anything. No, no. Oh, okay. Well, that's well. Okay, well, that's never going to happen. Yep. <laughs> and, yeah. So, the question is: Does this count? It's on the list. Does it count? Oh, does it count? Oh, it's, oh fuck. I, I mean, I don't know now. I'm we were sure. we were saying we were saying. <clears throat> mm. 
at the time when we had that argument, and this was on the bonus show, so I'm sure a lot of people hadn't heard that. But we were sort of saying, does it do enough to count for Game of the Year? And I mean, I suppose it's kind of hard for Matt to judge because he doesn't know what the original game was like. But I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I can't really remember much. But well, I, it's, it's I, the... I, I was <laughs> go on. Sorry, no, I will say this feels like this feels actually less of a remake than I than I thought it would be. I, st- I still don't think it's not a remaster because when I think remasters, I just think of that Shadow of the Colossus HD version. Yeah. Obviously, it's way more than that. There is a new art style. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got other new mode. I'm yes. not sure what other things have changed or not. But so it does. It's definitely not just a remaster. No, I agree with that. It, it doesn't that. feel like a full remake in many regards because it it doesn't feel like an awful lot's changed. But I, I, I haven't got a direct comparison really. Well, what, I mean, it's really I think it counts. Well, after playing it for the brief amount of time I played it, it, I'm not so sure now because it really does feel very, very close to the like to the original game, and to the point where I'm not I'm not sure like whether it there's enough new. Do you know what I mean to make it feel like it's more than like a like a remaster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But are, are, are we defining what a remaster remake is based on what's new? Like it, no, we define it, it, it. I, I think, think it's often, as we said, often it's, quite. I think it's a good case it's by a, case, but. I think we can agree mm. it's a remake, right? It's not just yeah, like yeah, a slightly remake. Yeah, yeah, totally. But it's just whether or not it, yeah, it's like this, whether or not it does enough to warrant mm. inclusion. I mean, it's surely like the better question is if it was allowed, would either of you consider putting? Would you consider nominating it? Because if not, I mean, we could, if not, we can just save yeah, ourselves I mean, I, the I, argument I, I, and move on. I think on, it should <laughs> definitely be on the list. I should think it should definitely be on the list. Either, you know, okay. It doesn't okay. have to be. Doesn't have to totally. Doesn't have to totally drastically change things mm-hmm. for it to be counted or not. But um, I, I thought I before does. I played this, I think it well, does I mean, have to it's, drastically change. It's definitely change not just things. a HD remake. It's. I'm not it's saying it, no, 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 we we're all agreeing with that. I'm not saying it's a HD remake. I don't think anyone is. What I'm saying is that. Surely it has to do something relatively different to the original game to be considered a game of the year, right? Well, um, well whether we consider it for game of the year or not, it like is, is based on the quality. I mean, it's got this other no, mode. I don't think it it's is. got that make it make a dungeon. Thing. I, don't, I don't think it is. I think, but surely it's up to us. Like if we can have a nominate or not, whether we think it is, and as the others, you know, we numbers might even think it's up there. That, well, that's like that, Sean if, was saying. <laughs> if you replayed the original now, would you be like, you know, what, would you be like, yeah, do you know what? Fuck it, it hasn't aged today. If if there was some way we could include it, then I would. <laughs> because the answer to that oh, yeah, is I'm, no. I'm sure if I played the original, it'd still be an all, uh, yeah, a, a fantastic Zelda game. Yeah, yeah, but yeah but like, yeah, no doubt. No, but my point is, so if the answer to that is no but you would include this remake, then that suggests that the remake is doing something extra. Do you know what I mean? It's I'd doing enough extra. include this remake because it came out yeah. in 2019. Yeah. Um, but, 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 but to answer your original question, before this game came out, I thought, oh, Zelda's game of the year. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I, I don't think it is. It's a fantastic game and I'm absolutely yeah. loving it. Um, mm-hmm. But it's not what I thought before that it would be like, it'd be a top of the list, this game over. It's a Zelda game. It's, you know, it, 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 I think it's fantastic, but I don't quite think, I've, I've enjoyed other games more this year. Um, okay, right. So, and um, I, there's still a few more months to go. I, I think even if, <coughs> yeah, this is obviously on my list of the game, of the best 10 or 15 games I've played this year, for sure. But I think, in the um, top three now. I think Matt said it uh, best, really. I, this is, uh, I mean, we shouldn't exclude it, but, Let's face it, this argument's going to come up again if someone nominates it. So let's just yeah. let's leave it for then. Let's park it and yeah, leave it so. for that if, if it happens. I, I, don't think, I don't think anyone's going to nominate it. By the end of this no, no, year, I don't, either, I don't think anyone's going to nominate it. So I think we're, we're safe to just not ask the question and just, <laughs> just move on. You say that, but then when we're struggling <laughs> towards the end of our draft episode, uh, That's true. someone's going to, I mean, Guacamole 2. Uh, okay. <laughs> or maybe one of the listeners. Maybe Plus, it was a listener's choice. That Destiny yeah. 2 DLC is coming, Dave. It's going to be ace. Good point. Yeah. Going, let's go straight up on the board. Uh, let's not take the fucking piss. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Is there anything else we haven't mentioned there, Matt, on your list? Oh, on my list, yeah, there's absolutely shit loads. Loads, uh, On James. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been playing those Apple Arcade stuff and some other bits. Mm. So, Link's Awakening, I played amazing. I played Gears 5, as I said. And then um, uh, I played Sekiro. I, I streamed that on Sunday. 
Oh, how did I go? I didn't get a chance to watch it. He got up to the bit that I gave up on. Okay. You know, he he got to the point where, you know that first main guy? Sorry. Someone's in. That's someone at the door. Someone at the door? Who's at the door? I don't know what's going on. Who's at the door? Someone there to answer it. Prostitutes. What? Where's that come from? Who else knocks on the door at this time? Dominoes? Oh, yeah, it could be Dominoes. I think we know what Sean's up to. I mean, of course he is. Who, a quarter eleven at night. This is. Uh, has he muted his mic? Oh, uh, I didn't hear a click actually. Yeah, but you don't hear it. Too. I mean, well, I he's got a snowball, is not he? So he just does this, it. On the Discord yeah. would filter it out, but it might still be on the original recording. Yeah. Brilliant. I, I hope we can hear all sorts of stuff <laughs> in the background. Yeah. What if James never comes back? What if it's a listener? Oh, I'm back, baby. Hey. hey. <laughs> Yeah, Sekiro, yes. Yeah, yeah, so I got up to... You know that first dude? Are we leaving all that in? Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll leave it <laughs> in. Please <laughs> don't. Please don't. <laughs> you know some gold. <laughs> you know that first... Okay. I like the fact that you're embarrassed that you had to go and answer the door, James. Like, why would you I am embarrassed. That can, can you, please, can you take it out? I don't want to... We're that keeping it in, James. It's fine. I'll be annoyed little, if you do. What's horrible about we'll this is annoyed. that two weeks ago... Matt would have been like, yeah, of course we'll take that. Don't worry. About uh, yeah. yeah. No, now he's been the big man in front of you. It's just no, like... I don't want to do more editing at like midnight. It's all good. <laughs> that's, right. that's fair. Uh, so, I'm sure we'll be fine. Right. So, um, yeah, no, the, you got to that, <laughs> that tart. You, you, you no, got I'm, to... I'm so annoyed about that because I don't want that left in. <laughs> you got to the, you got to the first like sort of main guy that's harder than all the others, mm-hmm. and that was the moment where I just went. It was one of those where I just went. Oh, can I? Have I got it in me <laughs> to go through all this again? And then yeah. I went, no. So I turned it off and never went back to it. And that's not a slight on the game. I just, I couldn't face it again. I couldn't mm. face that feeling again. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, but I, I, I love playing. that feeling. And uh, I, I got past that guy um, when I played it for like, actually, I checked to start streaming. It was like three hours and three minutes I played before. Uh, but I, I got past him before. I, that was towards the end of Sunday's stream, and match day two was about to happen. So I, I stopped. But uh, yeah, I'll get through it. And, and so, as I said, I'm still at a bit I've, I've done up to this point. So I've uh, done before. So it wasn't really anything, anything new. Uh, but no, I, 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 I've I missed that feeling of like struggling against a boss or an enemy or trying to work it out. So uh, very excited to keep going um, every Sunday night from half past eight. Um, <laughs> in, 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 in addition to that, oh, I've been playing um, well, loads of Apple Arcade stuff. We can cover that. I've also been playing... Um, actually, yeah, we'll start Apple Arcade and we'll, uh, there's another mobile game after that. Which How I think you find him Apple Arcade, can... Matt? I'm really impressed, actually. <laughs> now, a few weeks ago, I said, look... Well, I, I can't be asked. Like, mo- who? No, one, I don't play mobile games. What's the point? And then when I heard the announcement saying, okay, there's no in-app purchases, you can play it offline, I was like, okay, well, m- m- you know, m- maybe it's viable. Um, obviously, Apple announced that the first month is free, is a free trial, and I downloaded loads of games, more games than I've really had time to, to get through. But I've been super, super impressed. And this is even before the Apple TV update comes out on the 30th, which will enable us to play these games on the TV. Nice. Uh, with iOS 13, it is out now. You can sync a controller to your phone or iPad. I haven't even tried that, actually. It yet, works very well. It's great. It works well, does it, James? Yeah, it does, yeah. Have you done both PS4 and Xbox Pad or just one? No, I've only one? done a PS4 one so far. I'm not sure cool. Xbox one yet. Yeah, so I haven't even done that yet. I, I do want it. But um, I'm just really impressed with, like, with the lineup and... I mean, just to echo what a lot, a lot of other people have said online this week, it does, or it has sort of felt like like what, what mobile gaming used to be about, like the excitement of these new games and people talking about this game, have you downloaded this, have you tried that? And it, is, is it just the fact that it's like a really good curated list? Is it like exclusive so it feels new? Is it the lack of free-to-play like uh, mechanics or microtransactions that are going to eventually find you even if you are suddenly you know even if you start a game and it seems fine you know those transactions and mechanics are going to come in and potentially ruin a game you're enjoying i don't know but it's really exciting it feels really exciting i don't know what you um so obviously sean you haven't tried it right because you know i'm I'm incredibly envious and as i say i i am wondering if i can fucking finance a new ipad yeah (laughs) google play Um, i'll come on to your ipad stuff in a minute but um (laughs) you obviously have james right yeah, I played a little bit, uh, not very much, but uh, yeah, I played a bit. I mean, how, I'm... how about you, David? Have you done it? Or... No, I've not touched it yet. I I will do, but I'm I'm just waiting for the right time to do that. Oh, cool. 
Um, so what, what, what sort of games have you, you played? And what, what do you think about it, James, overall? Um, overall, I thought... I mean, I'm also quite impressed by the range of stuff. I've played very little so far. Um, I played Sayonara Wild Hearts, which was great, although... <laughs> I did not enjoy playing that with touchscreen controls at all. But uh, that was my... going to be my first question about that. I've been playing it on Switch um, and really enjoying it. But yeah, sticks and button, please. Yeah, I um, I played it. I started and finished it at lunchtime today. I, I mm. didn't have the pad, so I did have to play it with the touch controls. It wasn't. Mm. It, it was still. It's still a really good game. Mm-hmm. So I enjoyed it. But I, I know for a fact it'll be. 100% so what game better. is it? Mm. It's a music. <laughs> it's a music game, kind of res like. In it's well, it's, it's a little bit temple run, isn't it? <laughs> in that, yeah, yeah so, that so well. music's a big part of it, but you a, a lot of it you are just like running left and right, um, you know, grabbing items, dodging things. Um, so it's a little bit temple run, it's a little bit you, <laughs> this isn't going to help at all. Um, the sort of on rails bits in the Sonic Adventure games, <laughs> um, but if they were really good and exciting and had an incredible soundtrack and looked amazing. Um, I also got some like knights vibes. Maybe yeah. it's yeah, yeah, because yeah, totally. of, of of particular some of the shapes of the things you're you're collecting. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. But yeah, so it's uh, but I, I really enjoyed it. But I, I, in terms of the controls, yeah, I, I play it on on phone, so it's just basically swiping left and right, and it didn't right. feel didn't feel great. Uh, yeah. But the game itself was good enough that I I got through it. And um, but I, I I'm I, I'm definitely going to play replay it again. Yeah. When I when it come, when Apple TV update comes out, because I reckon on a pad on TV mm. with good headphones, it'll be amazing. I think it's it's very much again, you know, sort of leaning into the soundtrack thing. I think it is a game that you will put on like an album. Like th- there will be evenings where you're like, do you know what? I'm just going to do a, a full run on Sonora Wild Hearts because it's like what 40, 50 minutes long total, if that. Yeah, I think I think um, it's like an hour and twenty for me. But yeah, okay. it's um, I thought it was really really good. Yeah. And I've just been yeah, I was really impressed that it was just on this service. Uh, the, you know, it's, it's, it's the first mm. month was free. So, how much was it on Switch? Um, I think I paid about a tenner. Um, which, again, this is you know part of my argument for, for maybe getting an iPad is like even in this first month of Apple Arcade, there's like enough games. So, you know, even just looking at the games that are that are out on other things that I actually own, um, I can still come up with a wish list of like forty, fifty quid already. Um, so I've just got an iPad and then all those are free and then, you know, and then five a month for whatever comes out in future. That's a good deal. And obviously, if, you know, I'd use the iPad for other stuff. So it's not just like, you know, Porn. just for this. No, yeah, mate, definitely no, it's disgusting. Um, and um, yeah, so it's it's tempting, really tempting. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I was thinking in the week, and I've been, I'm thinking about this before, maybe mm-hmm. when, they, when they announced Apple, Apple Arcade, but mm-hmm. the iPad could be secretly like one of the best consoles. If I'm thinking, if you've got like an iPad Pro, or I guess any Fucking iPad, whatever, hell. but imagine you've got like the largest iPad, you can sync now your Xbox or PlayStation pads with it. You can, you you know, obviously you've got um, the PlayStation Remote Play app, and now you can mm-hmm. play that with the PlayStation pad. You've got Apple Arcade. I'm sure xCloud will probably come to um, to, yeah, to iPads will. as well. Yeah. Like, you, you could, you know, take your iPad and, and a pad and you've got an awesome display to play all these amazing games. I mean if I don't know if I could I don't know if I could be asked linking a controller with it. Is it not a pain? It's oh, easy. I mean, you just switch it on. That's it. Yeah, but then surely it, then that unlinks it from the console and you have to like resync it yeah, with that. That's one. true. You, yeah, well that means yeah you've got to like use the cable again to like reconnect it again. Yeah. But if you're just doing it if you've got more than one if you're controller going for the weekend. It's not so bad. Yeah, yeah. true, I suppose yeah 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 um, yeah. I, I, I know what you're talking like... about though Sean because I see that mm. as a hump as well Yeah, kind yeah. of like oh yeah connect my controller oh, I want to use it on the thing oh. <laughs> oh. yeah no I'm, I'm but, kind but of but I'm thinking if you go away for the weekend or if you're travelling or this that, and the other it's like that, that, that looks amazing I mean also you could if you had an Apple TV just throw that in your bag and like if you you know wherever you went just like connect that to a TV suddenly you got all these games on the TV I think that's like mm. do you not need really to be connected to the internet um, well, all these games you can play it offline. So yeah, I yeah. assume with the Apple TV stuff, you just download them to the Apple TV when an update comes out, and then that's that. Yeah, yeah that, I mean the fact these are offline is also a massive. Like it's really great because if I, I mean I don't commute to work anymore. I have to drive. Um, but um, when I was commuting to and for work on a train, there was like a network black black spots, and I'll be kicked out of games. Like mm. that won't be happening with this. Or you could be going on long train journeys again where signal is terrible if you go up and down the country again it's like these are all offline I think, I think that's just it's like the opposite of stadia isn't it in the sense that <laughs> it will work anywhere you know like yeah. with you know which is which is kind of good 
I mean, Sadie will work anywhere when you got when internet that works. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, it's different. Still, so, still, still, um, still clinging to that. Yeah, yeah. But, but no, I've, I've been really, really impressed. Yeah, Sign Wild Hearts is I played uh, today. I've mm. played lots of bits of other games. I've downloaded like 15 plus games. You played what, the are... golf yet? Uh, yeah, I, I played that. Um, that's what I want to get it for. That's Does it work well with touchscreen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it, I mean, it's, it's all like almost like Angry Birds like mechanics where you just like pull back. Yeah, you pull back. Yeah, and just tap and, and pull, then, yeah. yeah, but you know, and obviously we we all played that. Uh, was it EGX last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. And it, it was really really funny. It's a, good. It's yeah. basically it's well, it's called What the Golf. It centers around golf mechanics, whereby you you, you pull back on the screen to determine like the, the power of 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 the ball, and then there's an arrow that determines the direction of where that ball's going. Uh, but very quickly you realize actually it's just using golf mechanics, and it flips things on its head um, uh, very quickly, and it does all sorts of crazy, really really funny thing. Every every single hole um, is 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 interesting, and they've all got different references to games. Like um, it, I think it, I saw even like. Well, obviously we only played that little bit EGX, but even today there's like references to um, oh to what uh, to to uh, that a noodle cake uh, uh, that, that noodle cake game on, oh, was on, it, on phones. That's the golf Super one. Stickman Golf. Stickman Super yeah. Stickman Golf. Yeah, references yeah. to that. And, that was um, great. And that also, was. It was actually really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that game too. And also that Desert Golf. No, is it Desert Golf? Desert Golf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Desert Golf. Was yeah, great. that as well. Like there's some holes. Uh, and also the ones we played there's like, references to things like Super Hot and and all sorts of other things. Um, yeah, so what the golf works really really well. Um, and I've, I've been enjoying that. I have been. I, I've played a very tiny bit of Us Two's Assemble with Care. Um, oh, this which looks is so good! Absolutely beautifully designed yeah. game. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Like just like the, the you know the, the voice acting is impeccable. Just like the the visuals of how it works, the menus. It's a joy to just navigate. It, it's basically a story, at least it is so far. Of someone who works uh, as a restorer, restoring old items like clocks and this and the other, mm-hmm. and so like the way they tell the story with a little bit of illustration, you swipe up and down the screen uh, to get to different pages, and then um, at least in this first instance of, uh, I think a, a little girl's come up to me and says, "Can you fix my tape player?" Mm-hmm. And you have this like uh, old school, old style. Uh, because a uh, tape player, and you have to like make, um, wind wind the uh, the film the uh, tape back on the tape with a little pencil. You have to unscrew the back, put new batteries in, and all sorts of things. It feels quite tactile in that sense, mm. um, but it's just an absolutely beautifully designed um, game for, right from the off. Cool. Uh, I played a little bit of Choo Choo Rocket Universe or Galaxy, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a game, and I haven't played it, but also Sonic Racing. It feels like both of those were absolutely definitely going to have in-app purchases and then really? they got moved to this and they got taken out <laughs> it, i mean it just it feels like it feels like it's only missing you know, me having to buy gems or something for, for those games um you know it is what it is i mean in a, in a, a bad choo-choo. way are they like do they suffer for, like because obviously when you just pull that stuff out there are potential sort of balance issues and, and stuff yeah, I haven't, um, I haven't really played enough Tutu. I've only played like 15 minutes. I haven't really played okay. enough of that to really really get my head. But it just, yeah. uh, you just know it, it is a game game of that type. Yeah. Um, I've played uh, Skate City, which is another, it's a, it's a skate game. Sean's, I think you'll appreciate that. But it's, mm. it's very, very stylized. The cool. controls are really nice. You obviously hold the phone. I've been playing on the phone landscape. And... Um, uh, on the there's like a little button to tap to actually like to to move forward uh, on the board. It's it's like it's you see it's side on, and you can like flick up on left hand side to do an ollie, swipe up on the right to do an ollie, uh, and you basically like just you know swipe in various different directions to do the various tricks. It's 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 got a, a really like um, quite muted pastel um, sort of color set. It's 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 got a very nice chilled vibe. Um, cool. So I start playing that. That's really good. Um, Sina, I've mentioned. I've just downloaded so many other games, but um, haven't haven't really had the time to play it because I've been too busy playing Zelda. Um, but I've only played like I've only downloaded fifteen, and there's already a big list of oh here's like the top twenty games on Apple Arcade. Um, so I'm super impressed with the server so far. Um, right now I'm thinking, well, if it's only five a month, maybe I will subscribe to it. But I think the big mm-hmm. question for me is, you know, we've obviously had this massive uh, drop of like. I don't know, I mean, 70 titles, I think, they released, and it's the first bit. Mm-hmm. I want to know, like, how often new games are going to come to the service. Yeah. Is it going to be weekly? Is it going to be monthly? Um, mm. So I'm not, like, definitely going to sort of, you know, subscribe uh, but when it starts charging me again. I might wait and see. But so far, I'm, I've just really impressed in it. It seems to have 
come from nowhere. I just thought, oh, that mobile gaming, I just can't be bothered. I'm, just, I'm so done with it. But I don't know, maybe it takes one of those table mechanics to be taken out and games just to be made as games rather than mechanics and, and, and way to get money out of consumers. It's just, yeah, it feels nice and old and like like the App Store of old. It's 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 a really nice feeling, actually. And when things like Apple TV get updated so I can play on the TV and stuff, it's going to be a, a different proposition entirely, I think. Uh, cool. What do you think, James, about it overall? I mean, I, I think I agree. I do think it's very interesting and there's a lot of good stuff. I'm not sure where this is going to fit in for me for where I would play this stuff because generally now like I play switch stuff mostly if I if I've got the opportunity to play games I don't really play I don't really have the opportunity to sit there and play like games on my mobile anymore because I don't commute either so mm. I don't know where this fits but it, I still think it is very good and I'm hoping it is going to lead to better quality games like coming out rather than the free to play stuff well that's the question it's, isn't um, it your yeah. trial ends are you buying it are you buying another month? I I don't think I will but um okay Matt. But I can still totally see why people would. It's yeah, it's still good. Matt, you buying this? Um, uh, well, as, as I just said, I think I'll, uh, I, I think I'll maybe wait to see when like the next big like drops happen. But I've, I've been really impressed with the service. I mean, it's a five a month. I could, I could probably lose that. But I, I'm so out of the loop in terms of playing for, for games on my phone that it just felt it feels almost alien to to have any sort of games on my phone. I've like um. I just don't have. I just don't find or make the time, as, as I just said to James. I don't commute anymore, and I know like my phone isn't for games. It hasn't been for a long time, so it's mm. almost like having to retrain my brain. I can play all these amazing games on my phone. It felt like a massive novelty today to play Sinai Wild Hearts on my phone, even though you know smartphones have had games and stuff for so long. But I'm just so out of the loop. I'm just, the, my, my my mindset of phones isn't as a gaming device at all. Um, so it's interesting to, to to get back into that into that mindset, um, and I'll see. I mean, five pound isn't the end of the world, but I'll have to see how much I really played it once uh, once this initial sort of novelty is worn off, and if I actually yeah. do bother using Apple TV for this sort of stuff. But you know, it's good. I mean, Apple are making the right moves. They've got exclusive games. They've created a really awesome list. They've enabled PS4 and Xbox pads to be synced to phones and iPads and TVs and stuff. So they're making all the right moves. It's just where it goes from here, really. Cool. Yeah. In terms of other mobile games, I've also been playing football drama. Now I know mm. David yeah, I've and Sean, you both been playing it. Yeah, yeah. I've, I mean, I've only it? played about half an hour, but yeah, I, I've I've done the first three matches. Okay, okay. so football drama is a uh, it's a narrative based game where you play a manager um, entering a club, yeah. and you you make narrative decisions during conversations. Uh, and you play games of football. You do that by sort of, I don't know. You choose attack risk or control. It's basically yeah, whether, you, whether you're you, attacking. Yeah, and... you sort of choose whether the team like really pushes or just plays it safe. And if you push, it cut like you know it increases your what I can't remember what the stat is. But basically, it wears you out, um, or it wears your team out. So if you're constantly pushing them. You'll just have to like yeah, you have to stop eventually um, and play it safe for a bit while they recover. Um, but and most, it's all about uh, go on, sorry. sorry, most noticeable. <laughs> like we, we'll get into the football games in a bit, but yeah. most noticeable, it's all about the style and tone and the writing, right? Yeah, because it's yeah, it's, it's got a weird approach. It like it's completely bizarre. You know, it's a the, bit like someone saw what saw Cantona doing one of his weird speeches and being like, oh, that must be. What all football's like. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I will say uh, straight up, right, I love mm. the tone, the conversations, the mm -hmm. weirdness about the uh, mm. writing. I love mm. all that stuff. I think that works really well. And the biggest fear going into a game like this is that it's going to be, as we've mentioned on the show before, a bit too football. We score a goal, guys. Yeah, you know, yeah, and like yeah. All that sort of thing. It doesn't do that at all. In fact, it takes the piss out of football by taking it way too seriously you know what i mean <laughs> even for a massive fan like me it yeah. takes it way too seriously and it works right that yeah. the comedy comes across without it taking the piss out of the source material right mm. that mm. The, that's why it works like it's bizarre stupid and 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 doesn't feel like it's taking the piss um <clears throat> the uh, so 
the narrative stuff is is pretty straightforward. It, you're in conversations, you're pressing the screen to skip to the next bit of conversations, and every now and then it will give you a choice of what to say, and that'll have an effect on the team and you, the chairman and all this sort of stuff. And um, the actual football itself, I feel, really lets it down. Now I've only played one match, so I I mm, maybe same. I'm missing something, but it feels like I'm randomly pressing either control or attack, and Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't seem to be yeah. any strategy behind it. It's just me just pressing buttons and seeing what happens. Yeah, Is that... it does feel quite random. I mean, I'm I'm only three matches in, and it does feel a little bit random. Like, so you have a basically this strain meter, and it goes. It's, in, it's one, a percentage yeah. from not to 100. And basically, if you keep doing these risky attacks, that that uses more of that strain meter, and it gets to around like forty or fifty percent, and suddenly you there's certain activities you can't do. Like if you get right near the goal, you can't score if if your strain meter is in the red, for instance. Um, so I'm like, okay, well that makes sense. But then like the enemy has their strain meter could be like. 50 or 60%, I'm like, well, they're, they're closing goal, but they can't shoot because of the thing. I know they shoot and they score. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's weird, because like, if it was me, I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able yeah, to cause, have cause the you option would... of shooting, so why can the other team do that? Yeah, because you would think half the point is looking at, like, well, my team's gassed, but then so are they, so I can afford to yeah, play exactly. it safe yeah, or, so or whatever. Yeah, I was yeah, playing yeah. to that, thinking, yeah. well, yeah, if we both, <laughs> if we've done this, it's uh, it's a bit safer. We'll do some. Like, I'll do some passing, whatever it can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I have felt a bit. Uh, it, ha- it has felt a little bit random in that regard. Like, there's mm. been other bits where um, I can't think of particular examples. But I'm like, okay, well, the enemy is here, or the other team is here, or 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 you know, I- I've changed like a defensive formation. I should have more people defending this thing, but no, like that doesn't really seem to affect it. And mm. um, well, here's the interesting thing: what was the score in your first on, game? I'm still getting my head around, James, uh, Matt. What was the score in your first game? Uh, two two. Oh right, oh, was okay. it? That's okay. Right. Oh, that's, that's already got, interesting. They, got, then, late, they thought, got late goal. Right, I thought that first match was built for you to lose. Yeah, that, really. I won it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, uh, well, right that's interesting. I mean, I I sort of hoped I was right purely because then that means it was intentionally sort of bullshit and maybe I wasn't supposed to be able to read into it yes. so actually not knowing that it can go either way is interesting on a narrative level but damning on a gameplay level isn't it because <laughs> yeah why is I, it damning on the matches. gameplay level because yeah, we on. don't know why we won or lost I guess yeah basically yeah 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 I see what you're um, saying but, in the few um, matches I've played, uh, they've all been draws which, okay. is, uh, which is frustrating and on that first one they had a man sent off and it's two one to me. I was like, okay, this is surely us. And then they equalised right at the end, mm. and the other two were nil nil draws. Um, they, they felt really hard for, but also, yeah. and I I did some I used some cards which you get like those random cards. One of which I had was uh, like start a fight, or uh, have a sweeper keeper, or change your de- defensive formation. Yeah. I've done a bunch of that stuff, and I. I don't know, like basically the players can either choose to agree with your tactic and take it out and actually implement it or or not, basically. And, and even I then they isn't it isn't it, there's like two levels, isn't it? Like they can ignore you and but then even if they try they can fail, right? It's yeah, <laughs> that's right, yeah. And there's like a and there's a delay. So like your your the idea is you're shouting at the players to do a certain thing and then it might be like a couple of turns or whatever before they actually pay attention and try and do it. Which yeah. is which is interesting, but again, it's it just makes it all a little bit shaky, I think. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping this sort of stuff d- d- does work itself out, and maybe yeah. after a few games, I will see that the things I'm doing do affect the gameplay. I mean, it, mm. th- there's a lot going on, even if it's just mostly text on screen. And I'm like, yeah. okay, there's also these like three different things at the bottom, three different like meters which go up and down, which. Um, also determine like whether you can like uh, get control of the ball or keep control of the ball or mm. attack. Again, mm-hmm. I've like seen the one that's it's not called attack, but whatever it is yeah. that affects attack. I'm like, well, that's solid. Surely, if I bomb forward now and I've got loads of energy, I you know I will keep the ball. But no, I've lost the ball. Then I'm like, well, okay. So if that doesn't even relate to me, <laughs> yeah, I haven't mm, worked it out. I don't know. And and, yeah, and no, the problem is because on. of that. Uh, the the games they actually go on for quite a long time, don't they? I was going to say that was my other quickly. complaint. Is the games are fucking long. Um, yeah, and which it's if, kind you know, of if it was on a console, absolutely fine. But given that I'm, you know, people are going to be playing this on the toilet or whatever. Yeah, I can't remember how long it was in actual minutes, but it it felt long, definitely. It will. The, the the good thing is right is that I went onto the game store today mm-hmm. to read mm-hmm. the description they put down for it right and they're yeah. very open about everything but mm-hmm. b- 
but and it sort of does describe all that stuff. Yeah. The, the the thing is, it sort of says there's like 13 games in the championship season, or okay. something like that, 13 or 16 or something like that. Mm. And but it's, so it's relatively short, I think. Yeah. So okay. I, I'm going to see this through to the end and then yeah, see absolutely. where it goes because it could totally be worth it. Um, yeah, and I think and there's all different endings and stuff and different, yeah. different story paths you can take. So it would be yeah, cool yeah. to sort of reconvene when we've all finished it yeah, once. Yeah, it says and specifically see, in the yeah. description that you could get sacked at any point. Like, oh, right, that's, okay. that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my, um, my owner is, is not happy with me because I've, I've, I've had free draws. But you can give Did you call him Mr. Give... A, though, right? Uh, yeah, I called him Mr. A, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, that first yeah. bit where he's like, yeah, my name's uh, whatever, you know, Boris something of itch and he's like but call me Mr. A and you straight away you can just say sure thing Boris <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's great yeah yeah, yeah it's got I yeah. mean it's made me uh, laugh a few times already so uh, the, it's a good the, the chants from the crowd much. as well have you seen you oh yeah, yeah they're good aren't they there's some some of the issues just like we are from Colchester LA 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 <laughs> <laughs> they're just rubbish <laughs> yeah, yeah. and like after each match there's like a press conference and I'm sort of playing it as like a, mm. uh, a Jose Mourinho character being quite shitty to the press you know, oh really and, yeah, the, first so I'm, decision, I'm the first decision that you have to make is to decide whether your cat is French or British oh like, yeah it's, yeah. it's just silly stuff like that and yeah it the does straight to the wacky but it's got such a, a sort of a po-faced uh, feeling around the whole thing mm. that it kind of pulls it off doesn't it but as you say, but it doesn't feel like it's it's taking, taking the piss, piss out, out of football, but no. not in a nasty way. There's no yeah, 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 like yeah, exactly, I, yeah. like it's fascinating for me. Like I I can't tell if the people who made it know a lot about football or not. Like on the one hand, I feel like they can't have made a game like this without knowing a fair bit. But yeah, also, I it seems so irreverent. Like if you look at that, the papers, the, the, even yeah. the papers all have references to things that have actually happened. Ah, uh, okay. Like, on okay. one of the papers, it says like a. a about his footballer like not being happy because they didn't get a birthday card and that happened to like Cola Torre a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. he, he was pissed off because Man City didn't give him a birth didn't either didn't give him a birthday card or cake or didn't didn't wish him happy birthday. Mm-hmm. So so that was a meme and oh, I think yeah, also sure, on one of the that. papers there was mentions about um, fireworks going off in the bathroom and famously Balotelli let right, off fireworks okay. in his bathroom. So Fair yeah, I, I, even though even even like in the fictional back pages there's references yeah. to things that have actually happened. So, so yeah, so it's I'm a, a piss it. take but from a place of love by the sound of it. I think that's, that's probably yeah, why, yeah, why it works. It, it celebrates the sort of pantomime around football, which yeah. is... Um, the, which just is... on the newspapers, yeah, I was pissing myself, so I lost the yeah, first match. Have we match. mentioned that this is an iOS game, by the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is oh, an no, Android. Not. Uh, so I, I'm playing <laughs> on Android, but yeah, It's not, but it's yeah, not yeah, an yeah, Apple Arcade, yeah, but it yeah. is an iOS game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's like, it's what, four or five quid, I think, um, which, but yeah, if certainly if you can... I mean, watch the trailer. If you can get behind the tone of it, I pretty sure it's worth a go um but yeah just on the papers so the first match i lost and in the interview um you know i sort of said oh yeah you know i, I i'll i'll cop to it i think i made some tactical errors or whatever and then the newspaper just comes up and it's like <laughs> it's just, the, the quote was just like i'm fucking rubbish like <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> so, yeah it's great really enjoyed that. yeah the, the, the um, game's called football drama if we yes. haven't also given the name of the game <laughs> so it's football drama and it's on ios and it's not part of apple arcade and android and, uh, oh and that of course yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you're an, if you're an android user who apparently never pay for games on android you can buy this and it's good <laughs> Right, well, so we said uh, let's keep it short this week, and here we are yeah, again. Yeah, short so, show, guys, short show. Let's, uh, should we get to emails? Well, I've not done mine yet. Actually, I've only, oh. I've only got one more to add. Go um, on. I played like 10 minutes of Kirby Star Allies, you know, the free-to-play one. Oh, oh yeah. um, the Kirby Clash, then. Is that, oh, is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah Star yes. Allies is the main game. Oh, sorry, I thought it was Star Allies. It's actually yeah. worth playing. Um, wow! Well, yeah, sort of. uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, you know, I was saying the other week, like, oh, why were we all shitty about it? Maybe it's really good. It's fucking, ugh, why have they bothered? I don't... Predatory, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not so... even a Kirby game. You can't, mm. you can't inhale enemies and take on the abilities and stuff. It is just, it doesn't work, just... either, Sean. It just no, doesn't oh, work. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, you the get online into an online is absolutely... thing, and it just yeah, fucking appalling. it lags out. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's something that we shouldn't overlook with uh, Super Mario Maker Two either, because. Mm-hmm. It was exactly the same situation with the online competitive <clears throat> stuff in that. Yep. It it didn't work. Mm. And what what's sad about the Mario Maker one is that the game mode in it is clearly excellent. Mm. But in um uh, but but on lo- online it doesn't work. But with yeah. this game it's clearly not excellent and doesn't work. So yeah, it's, just it's really, it's really shite. But... Um Yeah. I d I don't even understand why it's 
badged as a Kirby game. There's nothing Kirby about it other than it has Kirby characters in it. I'd, it's just yeah. boss rush is all it is. It's what yeah. was in but, Star no, but, Allies, but, but just but on paper, like, oh yeah, here's a game. It's like you know, two D game where you fight bosses with your mates and you level up your character and you get new gear for it. But they're, they're fine. Um, it's just absolutely no fun to play. It doesn't really work. It doesn't do any of the stuff that's unique to Kirby anyway. It's fuck it. Don't even play it for free. Okay, nice one. Mm. Um, should we get to emails? <laughs> Uh, well, I would, but there aren't any. Good. How, so are next we week, getting emails all week. What? You, I, well, uh, no, we didn't haven't. get any questions. Am we? No. All right. Okay. Um, if if you don't want this to happen next week, email us at podcast at the computer game show dot com. Um, but yeah, no, we ain't got any. We've got plenty of tweets, though, haven't we, Matt? Yeah, we've got loads of tweets. Yeah, it's yeah, at Computer Game Pod if you it's want all to tweet. It's tweets, it's fine. People are still listening. It's all, it's it's fine. Tweet, <laughs> no one uses email anyway. Email's dead, haven't you heard? Yeah, it's shite, mate. Kurt Lewin at Angry underscore Kurt on Twitter. With Sean being put off by the art slash content of Blasphemous, has any game put you off for the same reason? Oh, uh, Katamari Damacy for me. What? I really what don't like the art. By that? Yeah, I really don't like the art style in it. Okay. It, it, it just because uh, I bought I, I didn't buy it I played the demo I yeah. was intending to buy it but I wanted to play the demo uh, mm-hmm. on Switch and I booted it up and I was like wow I really really don't <laughs> like the look of it it's really ga- garish and it just made me feel a bit rough I know what you mean a lot of it is obviously technical limitations because obviously that game was originally made for a PlayStation Two and what it does is is technically quite impressive but in order to make that work there's like eh, let's not let's not let's not shade anything why why should we shade anything or use textures um so i know what you mean yeah i think, I think it's great though and, uh, I, that's fair enough james yours is alex kid too right yeah it's alex kid and lucky stars <laughs> yeah <laughs> horrendous absolutely horrendous <laughs> um, unbelievable matt um, I, I don't, I've never played this game but I remember the name it's, it's a game called Machinarium it might be like oh, yeah, a yeah, yeah. puzzle game that game and looks that, amazing what's wrong with that I just if it's a game I'm thinking about I just say I, it made me feel uncomfortable it's like it and, was sort and, of, um, uh, yeah it's very dirty you give you that yeah the one with the little just, robot I, yeah yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, yeah. I just yeah. didn't I just thought and thought no I just don't it made me feel uncomfortable just looking at the art frankly <laughs> fair <laughs> enough no way um Luke Summer Hayes at Busker Lily on Twitter. I don't get this, but hopefully one of you does. Lappy or the Blue Badger? Blue so, Badger. Oh, really? Okay, I was going to yeah, go Lappy. Yeah. Um, what what so, is this? So Lappy is. Did you not get. I know you, you played a bit of Astral Chain, right? You didn't get far enough to see Lappy? Uh, no. Wow. Um, <laughs> played all the way through, <laughs> I played all the way through <laughs> Control but binned off Astral Chain after less than an hour. It's just <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, well, no, it's long, longer than an hour according to my Switch playtime, but um, no, I got basically <laughs> to the office and I thought, I thought, well. okay, I thought so Lappy, the office and I thought, I'm, I'm, no, not happening. Lappy is basically, it's one of the police officers puts on a costume and pretends to be this like cartoon dog who's like the mascot for the police. Um, and I don't know much about Blue Badger, but that's a Phoenix Wright thing, isn't it, James? Yeah, it's a Phoenix Wright character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm a Lappy man personally, but. Let's not fall out. That's right. Oh my God. Well, it's, it sounds like you're angry, actually, James. <laughs> Furious. It sounds like you're really pissed off. Um, Andy Godwin at uh, Big, Big Cop Man on Twitter. Which services do you describe to, such as PlayStation Plus, Xbox Game Pass, etc., uh, streaming, I, Netflix Prime, and finally music like Spotify? Who spends the most? My money is on Matt. Uh, I mean, all of the above, I think. It must surprise you that no, I I don't I no longer have Prime. I mean, I would I would really? have done. But, you no um, longer have Prime. Yeah, I just don't buy as much stuff on Amazon anymore. And mm. it was like eighty quid was coming out at like a really inopportune moment. And I was yeah. like, you know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I miss the TV <laughs> actually. I, like I don't buy enough stuff on Amazon much uh, these days, so I'm not not, I'm not exactly missing all like the you know the free delivery and stuff. But yeah, I miss the TV, so uh, that's annoying. Mm. But no, I don't you, have Prime. You still got Netflix. But, yeah, I've still, I basically have all those ones are listed and all the common ones. I don't have PlayStation Plus because I don't really play my PlayStation online. Yeah, I got rid of mine. Fair. Yeah, Fair. Um, yeah. Um, and and but I've got Game Pass. Obviously, I've got Game Pass Ultimate. I've got Netflix. I've got Spotify. But that's it. I don't have Prime. Don't have PlayStation Plus. Don't have um, the, the, those the things. thing with Prime. The reason I was reluctant to sign up to begin with. I mean, I, I love it now because I'm an idiot. But I was just like, why am I? spending money to make it more tempting to spend more money at one oh, yeah. do you know it what I mean it just seems so 
ridiculous. Um, but unfortunately, it's really fucking useful. So. Yeah, well, when I was buying shit on Amazon, it was the best, but yeah. um, I just don't. And also, I don't know. It's just like, I think it was getting, it was renewing in like middle of January or something crazy. And I was like, this mm. is, I'm yeah, not selling find 80 quid before I paid it after Christmas. Yeah, yeah It's yeah. not happening, mate. Yeah, just, just, but, but I pay for it monthly. That takes the Yeah, edge I, off. I guess I could do. How much but, is it a month? Yeah. Seven ninety nine. So obviously over the year it adds up more if you do. Yeah, it yeah I'm already yeah, paying sure. like a ten or eleven quid for that Netflix. Yeah. So yeah. that's just probably more than that to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah. Um, I still yeah. fucking keep. Do you know I'm, I'm going to do it now? I'm going to cancel my Now TV subscription because I, Game of Thrones ended and everyone's like, "Oh, don't cancel it. You've got to watch fucking uh, oh, no, Chernobyl." I, I, I always do. And yeah. I'm just never. I'm, ne- I'm never going to watch Chernobyl. So do you know what? it's going. Oh, I'm not. I'm not well, hang on, hang on. You haven't seen Chernobyl. I haven't oh. seen Chernobyl. No. Okay, watch that and then cancel it. I'm not going to. Cancel. I'm like, we've just no, been no, through no, this. No, no, no. It's only a couple of episodes. I it's say not even long. Chernobyl. Yeah, there's like it's six episodes, whatever. <laughs> it's it's one of the best shows I've seen in years. Actually, if you cancel it now, you might have like a few days anyway or a week That's or true. so. That, yeah, that'll give me a deadline yeah. to get it done. So get so. out watch, Sean. Like, oh. If you watch one thing, just make you, make sure you watch Chernobyl. It's stunning. Okay. All right, all right, fine. Get it done. Yeah. What are you um, going to watch, uh, Sean? Hmm? Chernobyl. What are you going to watch? Um, what you, what you, what should he watch, Matt? Chernobyl. Okay, <laughs> interesting. All right. What? Why, why is that interesting? Because you're both saying it in two different ways, and it's quite funny because you're both relentlessly oh, yeah. saying I it. Do you not know the, the joke? Why shouldn't you wear Ukrainian underpants? The Chernobyl fallout. Chernobyl fallout. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Go on. Um, also um, horrendous. Uh, yeah, I just, yeah, I shouldn't really. I mean, maybe, I just, maybe if I watched the show, I wouldn't have been so fucking insensitive about it. But oh no, yeah, good point. You, you you'll be regretting that joke once you see the episode. I will or the episode. Uh, M D Krabuffs on Twitter. Which Game Boy game do you want to be given a Switch remake? Good Ooh. question. Oh, I was that never Bugs a Bunny bit... one. That was good. I was oh, never, yeah, I was I was never a Bugs Bunny one. <laughs> I was never <laughs> a big Bugs... Game Boy guy. So um, I, don't know. I know Gargoyles Quest. I wouldn't mind oh, seeing I, that. But... As in, as in the cartoon series. No, the the Game Boy game. No, I know, but it's, is it the same gargoyles? <laughs> James, well, yeah, it's the saying. same. It's the same. Well, yeah, it's the, no, because I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Come on, it's fucking twenty past eleven. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, that's. I don't know what that was. That was, that was, that was the James complaining oh, about right, the time. I've just sound. checked. No, it is utterly unrelated to the gargoyles TV series, which is very good. But Wasn't there a good Ducktales game on it as well? Yeah, Ooh, they've had remakes though, haven't they? They've done those before. They've already, done them before, Dave. Shut up. Yeah, yeah uh, you idiot. Yeah, I get, just uh, think, like, <laughs> what, are, what are the real big games on Game Boy? Because for me, it was Tetris and it was um, Zelda. Tetris and the Mario. Zelda, yeah. Zelda's, Pokemon, yeah, yeah. I mean, they've already remade that like a million times. Yeah, yeah. they've done that Can recently. we get a remake of Robocop just so we can get a banging remix of that theme tune, please? Oh, I'll tell you what did have brilliant oh. music was Batman. Um, oh, the, yeah. the Sunsoft version that yeah, had yeah, brilliant yeah. music on the Game Boy yeah wouldn't mind that cool sweet uh, and that's it for tweets this week it's at Computer Game Pod on Twitter if you want to send us tweets uh, just send us some emails next week because Sean's going off way too lightly I mean I feel like yeah. I'm, everyone's quietly making me redundant here it's like well it's not it's not hosted anymore <laughs> yeah. let's put him on Lost the emails we just don't send him any fucking emails he'll be gone in two weeks yeah <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Out> <laughs> <by> Christmas <laughs> we are slowly heading towards our live show at EGX um <laughs> It seems a bit weird to say get your tickets now because I don't. They, you probably already got them, but if you were sort of I'm in and ahhing about it, uh, what's the date, Matt? Not it's today. Saturday, nineteenth of October. Saturday, the show is from three p.m. in the Fringe Theatre. Just need standard day tickets to come and see us, and it's egx.net if you want those tickets. Get down to egx.net. Come and watch us live. We need as many people there as possible. And if you if you've already got your ticket and you're already coming to see us then please think of a few questions because we want the Q&A bit to be banging this year. Um, so we need as many of you to ask questions as possible. Nothing's off limits, is it, Sean? No, absolutely They can not, ask you anything, can't they? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, but I, I promise that there's going to be no developers, real or otherwise, asking <laughs> questions this year. You can't promise, promise that. When, no, we, I'm not when, we, when we're setting up just about to begin and we see Molyneux sit down. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's incredibly <laughs> likely. Yeah, he's surprisingly yeah. cheap, actually. <laughs> worth it. If worth it. Uh, it's a good investment. So, uh, yeah. And if you're coming to the show, or even if you're not, uh, we're having a meet afterwards at 7pm at the Fox XL Warehouse Bar. Um, 
hopefully that's a fine place. It's basically you, you can get to it even without having a ticket. So, uh, but it is on site. No, we don't but... want any any fucker rocking up, do we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, be... Well, well <laughs> more, more than merry, but anyway, yeah, it's, uh, that, that, we're going to be there from seven pm at the Fox XL Warehouse Bar. More information on that stuff is uh, um, on our events page on our website. To so just go to thecomputergameshow dot com slash events, and there's like links to the locations and, and the dates and stuff all the usual good goodness nah, yeah um let's get on to the streaming stuff sean is streaming fifa wednesday night that yes, can be mate. tonight if you're listening to this yeah, on the boy. day the pod comes out tonight from 9 p.m on twitch.tv slash the computer game show you're still loving the fifa aren't you uh sean the last week's was a bit dry um two reasons one no cool story stuff and two we realized that the game had automatically put the difficulty up uh, several notches um, because I was <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, cause everyone, yeah. like because I, I was struggling and I was like well I am just rubbish and then people in the chat were like no the the uh, the other team's doing stuff they really shouldn't be um, definitely check the settings and yeah it was <laughs> yeah, on they're scoring goals they're scoring goals <laughs> how fucking dare they uh, so yeah and then we checked and it was on semi pro which um, you know oh, to to me I'm like semi pro that's like that's like nearly professional that's I'm basically that's half this. of a professional yeah 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 it's half of one entire professional um, but uh, yeah so I've knocked it down again and having fun again so yeah this week so the be goals good. will be raining in tonight from 9 and, uh, uh, on Twitch is that it but have you got anything more to say and then uh, Sekiro I'm, I'm back on Sekiro Sekiro Sundays Sunday night from half past eight uh, if you've got Twitch Prime if you've got Amazon Prime you've got Twitch Prime please think about giving us your free monthly sub we're on Patreon of course patreon.com slash tcgs and there's a computergameshow.com for everything else I'm going to do, do, do a stream this week I'm going to okay. do one okay, yeah. okay. yeah it's so been a while isn't it I'm totally going to do are you streaming on Friday okay yeah you hadn't mentioned it so yeah, I'm gonna go back to Friday again this week. I'm going okay, to go on then. Start Are you use... streaming? Can I give it as a surprise? What? No. Can you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I like it. I told me, James, like. so I can do some like Good point. promotional materials for okay, it. What? Is, is, as in, you don't want to say it on the show, or you don't even want to tell us? Can you tell us afterwards? Yeah. Well. Yeah. I guess I could do that. Well, I'm not going yeah. <laughs> to so tell anyone. I'm just going to be like, oh, I'm just going to tweet it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, I, I was about to say, no, you can't do that. But then I remember that my surprise is the day that I'm streaming. So I do that. <laughs> I mean, that's even worse, isn't it? It's giving Matt a heart attack. Okay, uh, so uh, so James, you're streaming Friday Night from Nine. Is that correct? Yes. Mystery right, game. Okay, whatever James is streaming, this Friday Night from Nine, <laughs> please watch. And then, Dave, when are you streaming? Is Fuck it knows, mate. I'll find, but I'll let you know. I'll let you know about okay. an hour before I hit stream start. <laughs> I mean it's only it can only really be Thursday or Saturday so uh, yeah I'll let you know <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I do hope everyone out there has a wonderful week rest of your week and into the weekend um, and it will be great to see you come back next week for more computer game show chat that does not um, sound sincere at all because it weren't <laughs> Thanks for living it. We'll catch you next week. (laughs) Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I've gone to cancel my Now TV thing and it's done and the thing of like four years. it's done the thing of like oh do you want to see some offers before you cancel and I was like okay okay I'll see the offers and I click see the offers your entertainment month pass has been cancelled see you later